It's time! Wait! Okay. Alright, stream beginning. Nurgle time. Well, fun In the Nurgle. Name of Magnus. I think I can legally say that uh, this is an actual fun Nurgle campaign because you're not restricted by your buildings. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I am not a big fan of, of Nurgle, uh, in, uh, how Nurgle play. This, this fat fuck. Oh, that's the Skaven. This guy's campaign just got significantly better, though, now, now that you have access to a lot of the Warriors of Chaos stuff that, um, Festus gets. Because if you're playing as, uh, ya boy, hello everyone, by the way. Yo, yo, what's up? Where's Nurgle Monkey? Yeah, we, we only have... God, shut up, dude. Festus, fuck. So we only have, um, Ogre Monkey, because I don't have a Nogro Monkey, unfortunately. So we've got to make do, guys. Or maybe a Chaos one. I don't, I, I don't know. Well, we're fine, we're fine. This is the standard monkey. We're going to leave him. But anyway, so, Festus. Festus is, in my opinion, underrated. I think not enough people are giving this guy the time of day, because he's ugly. And I think, much like regular life, nobody wants to hang out with a dude who has a, like, a neck like this. He probably smells pretty bad. But, you know, he has a winning smile, a nice personality, and uh, he knows how to mix cocktails. So, I think he's a winner. And I think that he's uh, definitely more fun than Valkia, but only because it of her stop position. I don't like her stop position. But her uh, her campaign is fucking cool, but it's just, it's a con campaign, man. It's just hack and slash. There's a little bit of more nuance, milady. Tips Fedora with this with this good old fella. So 25% increase to the battle cap, which later down the line is uh, Adoka. He has a Peter Griffin chin. What the fuck? What Peter Griffin have you been watching? What? I don't think you remember what Peter Griffin looks like, man. That's that's either that's super <laughs> that's mean to the animated character Peter Griffin. Funny Peter Griffin, man. So I'm gonna do what I did last time, and I'm gonna put this on a turn 10 to 35 because. It's just, I don't know, it's more interesting. I want to see some shit happen. I want to watch the world burn a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so. We'll just explain when we get in, actually. You know what? Let's just dump, jump right in. So, old Festy has some... Also, look at this little blurry purp, uh, blue blue fella up here. Under An underrated little guy. Really adorable. <laughs> The true hero of this, the best character in the DLC, is the little blue guy that sits on Festus's cauldron. Yo, I don't call it daddy. Please don't call me daddy, dude. Ain't your dad. What happened to your real dad? Did he get? Did he come back with the cigarettes? Festus has a great starting position. Yeah, kinda. I mean, I'll explain why it's not my favorite. Um, partially because it's very difficult. But um, also because your options are sort of limited, you know? The I don't go, I never Google blue nerd ner waffle. The blue nerd waffle? Has come. The sad days of this world are nearing uh. their sun. <laughs> Aww, listen to him. He's so charismatic. How can anybody think he's bad? Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little like he, I he was holds, just he... looking for someone oh. covering Festus, and there was nothing. Embarrassed smiley face. Thanks for showing him <laughs> off. Embarrassed smiley face. 
Uh, no problem, oh, my dude. Thank you for the dono. I'm happy to be showing him off. I think he's, uh, like I said, Festus is underrated. I'm pretty sure Great Book of Grudges is streaming uh, him on Twitch, and a couple of other people have touched on him. Um, I, I would recommend, if I wasn't streaming him, I would recommend um, any of those guys. I still would recommend you go watch him, but like, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. So, Festus gets access to Great Weapon Infantry, which are... If I was going to pick a favorite infantry, it would be great weapons. I think anybody would. You can get right out of the gate. Oh, we don't have any... Oh! Okay, well, we have no money, so that's fine. Fuck, okay, we need money. Never mind. We can do without trading. Just for a minute here. While I swap all of my guys over to... Well, most of them. We need a, we need a couple of shield units, right? So... Nurgle, limited unit roster of stuff that you can recruit, similar to the other one. They get um, throwing axes uh, with poison damage, everything with a mark of Nurgle. Uh, you get access to plagues. Oh, oh, actually, one of these might be useful right out of the gate. But much like last time... Oh, he's already ascended. Okay, so we start off with a fully ascended, exalted hero of Average Nurgle right out of the man. gate. <laughs> I don't think so. He's not He's not balls deep in uh, a deep fried Moz bar right now, so I don't think that's true, man. And he's not chugging a can of um, iron brew. God, not anybody outside of the UK has no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. But, uh, I'm, I imagine you do. <laughs> that's poor Scottish people. Fuck. That's your average Scottish diet, though. And it, so, anyway, Exalted Heroes of... Thank you for the donut, by the way. Uh, Exalted Heroes of Nurgle have got to be my favorite Chaos hero that's been added into the game. First of all, they look pog as hell. They look awesome. I love great weapon infantry, but also their animations are really crisp and good and cool and good. Wait, yes, mutant I betrayer. Like Melee attack 15 Festus with fighting is going to be humans. my first campaign when it releases. Glad to see Nurgle being more fun now. Hey, good choice, my dude. Adoka, did you see Legend's video? Yeah, we talked behind the scenes. He asked me for the for a copy of the uh, thing. I, I watched the video earlier when I got back. Uh, I just passed my driving test, so I, I know how to drive now. I can legally drive and run people, I mean, drive. And then I got back, and Legend had released a very cool video about my Doomstack. <laughs> he found out that um, the zombie Doomstack, by the way, if you haven't seen it, the region is bugged. Um, they It puts their healing cap up to over a million. Like, what? it puts their healing cap up to 1.2 million, I think. So that they can just heal almost infinitely. Obviously, you'll run out of winds of magic before that happens, but you can do, you can literally just, you can win. Congrats, thank you, thank you. You can, you can just, you can beat a siege of almost anything with a single unit of zombies and just, it's, it's just insane. Also, I didn't notice this, but Moon Betrayer causes fear when fighting against humans. Uh, plus 15 melee attack when fighting against humans, cool. But minus 20 uh, diplomatic relations with the Empire, which kind of explains. Which, it, okay, that kind of sucks because you're right in the dead-ass middle of the Empire. I'm thinking of maybe expanding up to the top right this time because what I normally do is I do, I go declare a war on the Empire. Uh, wait, did I miss a dono? Oh, no, no, yeah. First Fest is going to be your first campaign. Thanks for, thank you for the dono. Samuel Ludendorff is not a good name. What do we call him? Uh... I'll just call him Chungus. So, let's see what our options are here. We start off with a level two brass key. So, the 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 problem I have with Festus here is that the only br uh, dark fortresses you have access to are the brass keep and Middenheim. When you own these two locations, that's kind of like your peak efficiency for for money that you're gonna earn because the nearest dark fortress is like way up here. Altdorf does not count as a dark fortress. And neither does anywhere else in the Empire, as far as I know. Maybe a couple of cities. I haven't actually got that far into a Festus campaign. At Okoi, can you show Festus his special skill tree? Yes, I can and will. Hey, look at, look at his little cheeks. Oh, he's so cute and precious, and I love him. He's the best. I don't know how people can not like him. Look at that little, look at that winning smile. People gotta not judge their books by their covers, man. Also, he gets a little blue Sinch guy. So... Contagion, uh, Contagion, 25 casualties captured post-battle, which is good for regen, maybe? I don't, I don't know what that, the benefit of that is, but there you go. Um, infections cost minus 
uh, for armies in a local province, which is great because you can just keep yourself topped off with infections. And infections at a certain point, you'll just have thousands of them and you can just keep throwing them on every army that you have, which uh, gives you that little bit of that little edge when you're, um, I don't know, plagues, I think, need a rework or need to be a little bit more impactful because they feel a little bit weak and pathetic at the moment, but they can be pretty useful. A 25% increase to the to the healing cap, which is on top of the initial Dark Apothecary one, so you get a 50% increase to your healing cap. A little bit in that new ghost vein of having crazy uh, HP regen, but the reason that's so good is because um, your boy here, Festus, has this, healing elixirs. He can swap between these, they're mutually exclusive, which means you can only have one access um, activated at a single time when you're in a battle. And uh, healing elixirs gives a 0.2%. 20% healing per second to units in a 35 uh, meter radius. So if you have like a little blob of Nurgle units like you would normally do, you're getting insane regen. And if you don't have that, you can be doing 24 to 48 damage per second to everything in a 35 meter radius, which is a significant amount of damage. And then on top of that, he's a solid, solid caster. He's not amazing in melee, but he's not as weak as you would think. The 30 armor isn't great, but he's got a decent amount of melee attack. And if you get a couple of these extras like here, look, you can get, um, you know, minus five melee attack and minus 10%, uh, 10% 10 speed for anything around with the, you know, slime trail. And he gets 25% extra health, 25% extra mass. Uh, you can get, oh wait, minus 15% speed to enemy armies in local province. Well, that's fucking nuts. That's great. Uh, immunity to contact effects for the entire army, which means you're not affected by, I think, magic as well, which... If that's true, uh, here's a good question. Does immunity to contact effects mean that uh, if you have an entire army of demons, does that mean that they're immune to magical damage? Because <clears throat> usually that's something that, you know, bypasses their physical resistance, right? Uh, does that take that out of the equation if you're immune to contact effects? Uh, that'd be an interesting thing to test because that'd be really, really strong. Especially if you have like a little, I don't know, demon-oriented army with this guy or at least a couple. The Chin Lord, yes, exactly. I really do want to give this guy a fedora, though, as soon as possible. That'll be an adorable little mod. Also, I'll probably give a fedora to the little blue guy <laughs> as well, if I can. Uh, also, I wanted to try and make it even more cursed by taking his face and moving it down onto his goiter and then putting a fedora over his entire head. Uh, so I want to... <laughs> God, that would be fucking disgusting. So, altogether, a pretty interesting um, skill tree. I like it when you don't have a million categories, you know, like melee, a magic line, another magic line, and then you have unique skills, and then you have, like, uh, these auxiliary skills at the top, and then you have a red line and a blue line, because I, I get spoiled for choice. It's like when you're at a, a, a restaurant that you really like, or just a restaurant with a big-ass menu, and you're like, what the fuck do I get? I hate, dude, I hate big-ass menus. I am so indecisive. You know what I mean? Is anybody else like that? Is that just me? Because I, I cannot decide. I'm that dude who sat there like, I don't know, dude. I don't know what to pick. And then I'm crying and the waiter thinks it's awkward. You know? Oh, okay. Chaos Warhounds with Poison are actually valuable. But anyway, let's get into our first fight to show off how good this, this thick man is. I thought his name was Adolf. Adelbrand Ludenhoff seems like Adolf Hitler with extra steps. Okay. Mulches are going to kind of be a pain in the ass, but I'm going to play this. So we can look at the units. Nurgle Chaos Warriors, Nurgle Chosen, Nurgle Heroes, and just... And the Nurgle Marauders are all my favorite looking Warriors of Chaos units that I've seen so far. Adokai, Giga Chad, Festus, Chin Mod, Win. As, I don't know, as soon as the, the uh, game's released into full access and I can get, ac you know, I can have an updated mod uh, tool to work with. <laughs> Adokoi, does Festus get the Sacking Plague? Maybe? I would have to check. I don't know what that is, though. Er, Adokoi, are we getting an official mod tools? Do you know? Um, I'm not sure. I definitely think it's in development, you know? I think they, that's that's an aim for CA, but but modding is definitely on the back foot uh, to, you know, balancing and stuff like that. But there's different departments for all that sort of stuff, you know? Exalted hero of uh, I'll tell you what, we're just going to bundle all of our shit in. Great. So, I usually go with the heal on approach because it's it's more valuable. You have to activate one of them, by the way. Let's get a good look at Festus. 
Look at that. Look at his little smile. <laughs> I love that they went down to like a happy route for all of the uh this is probably my my I don't like this model as much for the Nurgle um Exalted Hero of Nurgle, but we'll see the extra one uh, when I inevitably get another Chaos Warrior of Nurgle. Time Chaos Exalted Hero of Nurgle. Edokoi, give Festus a neckbeard. I will, I will try to do that. Edokoi, change Festus's trait name to the professional Discord mod. Ooh. You know what? I should. We should change uh, our faction Must name to uh, Discord mods. Away. Mortars! Okay, we, that, we can't be having that. That's unacceptable. But here's the thing. We didn't lose any models, and Festus is right here with a heal. AoE. So the Chaos Warriors with great weapons look. I'm just gonna pause for this. They deserve to be appreciated. Significantly cooler than the rest of the, uh, the units. The subtleties, like the, the green veins on the armor and stuff, the dark colorization... Coloration? Colorize it? Coloration of the uh, armor and stuff? They genuinely look phenomenal. They look very cool. I'm kind of a Nurgle simp in terms of Korn, uh, uh, you know, compared to like Korn and Siege and stuff. Nurgle are definitely the pick that I would go for, which, which is why I was kind of extra disappointed that they played like total dookie shits in the campaign, you know? I, I kind of expected, or I was hoping, um, they would be a little bit more fun to play, you know? But uh, they're very restrictive. They're an inherently restrictive faction. It's the same reason I don't like playing Tomb Kings is because your ability to build whatever units you want is hampered. They don't let you build whatever you want. Nurgle Chaos Warriors probably look the best out of the four. I don't get the complaints. Wait, people are complaining about Nurgle Warriors? I was under the impression that everybody liked them, uh, or I assume I would assume I haven't really talked about uh, to anybody about it. I would have assumed they would have been up there in the favorites. I mean, I guess because the Slanesh ones look so impressive. The Slanesh ones are genuinely very, very, very cool. <laughs> they're, they're they're pretty amazing. Uh, very decorative and stuff. Lots of gold. Ooh, you know what? We're gonna get Billius Thundergut, the Falling Giant, too, in this campaign. For damn sure. Oh, uh, can we get our dogs back? Nope. Alright, and here we go. Let's get a look at that blood. Up in fights as well. We can get eyes on it. Yeah. Dude, it adds so much. Just a little amount of blood. Peppering the units and stuff. Adds so much. Alright, we'll switch to uh, a little bit of a heal. Oh god, the camera. Professional camera work. Did we got our dogs back? We did. Let's go. Let's scar. There's no way. Like. Also, obviously, it's regen, so depending on the amount of models that we lose, at the end of the fight, you could just stand there, dogpiled around Festus, and just heal, which is what I was doing a lot. <laughs> Adokoi, people mistook um, basic Nurgle Warriors for Blight Kings, who are fat and have their guts out, but those will probably be added later in the DLC. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, um, Blight Kings would be a, a fantastic addition, they are phenomenal looking. The bit, those, the big old guts. The thing is, uh, I can't remember who it was, but, um, but, oh yeah, it was, uh, a, a, a buddy of mine in the Discord, Icarus James Donkey. He, he brought up that, um, that CA kind of swerved the whole guts thing with Nurgle. Like, a consistent theme you see with tabletop models for Nurgle is that there's, their, their, their guts are hanging out. It's like a famous Nurgle trait, is just guts all being out. And, uh, that's not the case. Dude, basically no casualties. Crisp. What we like to see. Oh, can I watch this man get absolutely exploded? I want to watch the giant just, just pummel this guy. It's been too long. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
forgot. Giants are so good at, at chasing down single entities. Okay, let's just watch this man explode. Oh, he's unfazed. He's made of steel. Oh, or not. Okay. Is he just not gonna die? What's this man made out of? Fuck me. <laughs> Hit him. Oh my god. What? What is happening? Bruh. Are you fucking serious? Hold on. What is happening? Why is he invincible? Oh, eat a dick game. Come on. He has 300 HP. What's happening? Is it a bug? I'm so, I'm so confused. Yeah, something's fucked. How much health has he got? Yeah, he's not even taking damage. Hold on. I think the giant's missing. I think that he's swinging past him and, and missing him when he swings. Try it now. Oh! <laughs> that's what I wanted to see. Oh, that's so cool. Well, there you go. Blood, that's the, the blood he'll see at its finest, I guess. 5'11 or 6 foot. <laughs> Damn. Well. I thought something after like the 6th hit. I was like, man, what's this guy made out of? Fuck. Ibridolf Linkler. He hit him so hard his head stayed where it was and the rest of his body flew off. Okay, so replenishment is nuts already. Infections are good. Unit experience. Uh, I'm gonna go for regen. Also, I'm actually gonna delete this tribal garrison. From my experience, you get your units from other ways, and the only really valuable things to get are like a fighter's lodge, because then it allows you to recruit exalted heroes. Speaking of which, I'm gonna beeline straight for uh, either powerful... Um, Patience? No, you know what? Dark diplomacy. We need that diplomacy, dude. We need some vassals on our side or something. We gotta get something out of this, man. Alright. So, Ramidus Bulwark. Oh, man. Okay, we'll go for the Marauder thing. After we've uh, allotted some good stuff. Because not a lot of these are uh, that useful right now. Oh, actually, growth per region 75 hey, after winning a battle might be good. And it's for long. But you should oh. name a lord or hear a malady, malady. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Thanks for the donut, my dude. Okay, how do you do that little extra zoom once you've zoomed in fully? Oh, um, you press N when you're in combat, N on your keyboard next to M, like N for nincompoop. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of a single word beginning with N. And then just scroll backwards or scroll forwards and it'll let you, you know, zoom in or zoom out. I use it for you know, taking thumbnails and all sorts of shit all the time. Ah, Alright, so. Rude Macher, obviously, right out the gate. And, I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna go full blue line because there's not a lot of, uh... stuff we can do until we get rank 12 anyway. This supplements my and training is... I'm just gonna get, because the faster we get unit experience, the better. Nargle. There's no way it... Yeah, I knew it. Fucking medium casualties! I, I'll be... I'll be shocked if I suffer any casualties in this fight. And for Nurgle. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. Fuck. <laughs> I think I, I went N for an, and everyone was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Is he about to get cancelled? <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, what's got the least amount of line of sight? Probably here, right? Indirect. It doesn't matter. It, we're Nurgle. Who fucking cares? We'll start and we'll rush in like absolute apes. So we got the sword of anti-heroes for... Oof. God, you know what? That's... I should have given that to, uh, Milady. Ah! Uh, okay, our dogs are getting goofed. We're getting spoofed. 
Not good for us. Adokoi, how corrupted are you by chaos? Um, I'm getting better. I had I had I had like a throat infection because of the uh, because of having a fan on for like four days straight because of the heat here has been insane. But I'm getting better. Nurgle hasn't taken me yet. Nurgle's taint. What the fuck? What is happening? What is this? What? What the fuck? Where are my dogs going? What? They left! Wait, did I accidentally click retreat or something? What the fuck? Did I hit... Dude, did I, did I hit withdrawal on my dogs? What the dog doing? <laughs> What the fuck was that? Exalted also, my uh, my Milady guy was out in the fields too. What what happened? That was wacky. You know what? We're gonna go full damage. We don't need um regen right now. We're good. We're good. We're good. Where are my trolls? Is that a tower shooting me or what? Oh, dude, this is gonna be such a shit show fight. It's so short. That's it. How is that medium casualties, man? What the fuck? Actual, what the hell? What, just to add insult to injury to this game, I'm gonna put all my guys in the middle and watch some regen. I don't know, they smelled like peanut butter. <laughs> There's... Somebody, uh... Offered them dog treats. If they left. Somebody offered them a Scooby snack if they just, like... Dipped. Right, it's not even close. Nurgle OP. Uh, at Okoy, how can Nurgle Warriors of Chaos hold up with great swords? Um, probably pretty well, especially if you go with the Great Weapon variant, and then you think about it, because you're getting poison. Poison attacks on uh, heavy infantry are extremely good. Alright, so Occupy right out of the gate. I, I definitely want to pick up a Vassal or two, if, if at all possible. So if the option to uh, maintain a Vassal pops up, we're going to take it immediately. Uh, we're going to get the, uh, the increase. And... Uh, no, I'm going to keep saving. Once we, once we get the option to get an extra Chaos Hero, a, a, little, a little small spicy army is all we need. Our options are limited. Sick. Yeah, so Chaos Warriors with great weapons have poison poison attacks, so they're taking away 15% base weapon damage, armor piercing weapon damage um, from great salts, which is cutting their damage down quite a lot. Meanwhile, they have a good amount of weapon damage and still have 100 armor, so they're really going to be taking it taking it to them, you know? They're going to be cleaving through those, those great swords. I don't think we're going to have much trouble. All right, I can, so I never realized but you have to use specific plagues at the top to unlock the ones at the bottom. I just kind of went, it's I'll, if I unlock them, I unlock them, whatever. It's totally fine. You you have to do specific plagues. Like, for example, you have to do Festus Bubos to unlock this one. Attrition minus 35%. Some of these are just so, un, like, unimpactful. Like, base weapon damage minus 15%. Pretty good. Casual, casualties... Plus 50% casualties suffer from all attrition. Pretty good. That's actually great. Holy shit. Best this egg 25 times. Fuck it. There we go. We got more than enough. So diplomacy wise though, this is where um this is where you're going to be struggling with Nurgle. People don't like this guy and it's because he's ugly, I guess. But you're getting minus 100 aversion to all empire factions. If you're playing Azazel, you get huge benefits to um, diplomatic relations with the Empire. So, and with any human faction. Azazel is cracked. Nurgle has no, um, you know, diplomacy to rely on. So your options are, are basically just fight every everybody. There's some orcs down here that I'm going to try and ally the fuck out of. We're going to have our little goblin orc homies um, for the Black Pit tribe. Uh, hopefully we can take them with us. Get ourselves some, uh, I don't know, uh, artillery in our armies. Adokoi, can we see all the big plagues he gets? Big plagues? Oh, 
um, like Festus's big plagues. I imagine they're just going to be traditional, regular Nurgle ones, but I'll check. Give me a mo. Also, what do we rename our faction to? Oh yeah, wait, I already... There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Dark. Right, time to kill Boris Toddbringer and tear his little mustache off and glue it to his ass. Ooh, wait, did I not build, um... Hmm. Probably growth, right? Or a vassal emissary? No, that'll be useless because we're not even connected to any other territories. And we don't have any vassals. Uh, I don't have a lot of confidence for that we're going to be re re recruit some good stuff, but fuck it, Corpse Mound. Alright, we're coming for you. Boris, I'm coming. We got a giant, we'll be fine. If this is anything like any other Empire Siege, we're just going to be able to slip in through the side gate and just ruin everyone. Reddit? I <laughs> just read it? Adoka, yo, in your Discord general, I made you a Festus La Monkey. Oh, really? Hold on. What am I general? Oh, is it, dude, is that a PNG background? <laughs> is this not a PNG background? I can't, dude, I can't do a JPEG. <laughs> Wait, let me show you what it looks like if I do th use this JPEG. It's gotta be a PNG with a transparent. I appreciate that, dude, but look. <laughs> it just. It doesn't look. <laughs> you gotta get rid of that background, my guy. It uh, it scuffs it a little. We'll do. How about a little fedora? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, Festus, come here. Hey, there we go. No, stand still, stand, dude, 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 dude. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Eh. Ah, oh, whatever, dude. There we go. <laughs> okay, we'll have a, a little fedora down on the bottom left, I guess. Hold on. That'll be today's stream theme. That'll be my uh, watermark for today. Is Festus's fedora? A, a, uh, a, 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 <laughs> a predilection. Of Typical Brits. Warriors of <laughs> Why does people keep... Some guy earlier Warriors said, like, classic Nurgle. Scottish. Like, Exalted is this just what everybody thinks Nurgle. people in the UK look like? Like ogres? Basically like an ogre, but bright red and chugging out like a pint of beer. Saying, hero love me, Nurgle. love me football, love me... What is the meme? <laughs> I don't remember the meme. Alright, fuck it. Bundle together, get a heal going. Push the gates. Giant in the gates. Oh wait, giants can knock down walls. I think that's one of the coolest changes. Is uh, giants being able to knock down walls. I think more uh, giant constructs for the Tomb Kings and, and basically anything that's massive should be able to knock down walls. I think that it, it just makes so much more sense. You know, if you were a 25 foot tall giant giant you, you'd be able to knock down some stone walls maybe love me stench yeah love me queen love me potions simple as simple as oh they're fucking my giant up six ways to oh that's festus okay Doctor Festus. he sounds a little bit like um a demonic version of uh Oh, what's the guy's name? Uh, Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. You know, it has that like, that dis like it's like Scottish, but it's it's like disgusting Scottish, like really gross sounding, and flammy. He sounds like um, the guy. He sounds like Davy Jones if Davy Jones really needed to clear his throat. Just do a little, you know. If Festus just coughed a little bit, he'd be fine. He'd be golden. Oh, no, 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 Do not ladders on the walls. Fuck ladders on the walls. That fucks everything. You know what? That's kind of pointless, actually. Bust it down. Bust it down. 
beauty. Oh my god, he's making good progress. Oh, they're about to get so fucked. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, all I gotta do is make this a little bit smaller and I can put it on Festus. Hold on. There we go! Dude, perfect. It was so close. We had it all along. <laughs> now the giant's wearing a fedora. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. No, it's a little too high now, isn't it? Huh? There we go! Ah. Uh. Hey, get fucked. Oh, that's my favorite shit. Pestilent marauders! Uh, it brings me back to playing like Lord of the Rings video games as a kid or Star Wars The Revenge of the Sith on PS2 and just being able to pick up enemies and drop them off walls and shit. I don't know what that is. Like nothing gives me euphoria quite like when you knock an NPC off a cliff or like, you know, otherwise kill them in a <laughs> somehow a more demeaning way that makes it so much more fun. Like, killing enemies is cool in Dark Souls, but if you manage to, like, get a guy to fall off a cliff, it's, like, 50 million times better. Oh my god, since when can giants break walls? That's just a, a change that's happened with, um... Oh, we're getting so fucked by these archers, though. Okay, push through, push through. Oh. Uh, not good, not good. Not good. No, our giants are retreating. Okay, we're gonna have to get past this. We gotta get our giant through. Man, Chaos Trolls were doing so good with the other factions, but they're letting me down with Nurgle for some reason. Push, 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 go, go, go. Kill, kill, kill. Come on, Nurgle. You got great weapons. You got this. Oh! Oh, I love it when they cross. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah. oh, I love it when they line up. Stream of Corruption might not be a very strong spell, but, but uh, that long defy. column, when it hits good, it does hit. The crow brings death. Now is our time. Go, 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 go. Did I get my trolls back? God, finally. Yikes, 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 no, 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 woo, 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 run, giant, no, oh, this is so bad, oh, this is so terrible and bad, yikes, oh, huge yikes, massive yikes, it's, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, we have regen, we have regen, but, oh my god, that was close, no, no! Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. There we go. He's getting some regen. Well, let's just get over here and run some of these swordsmen. Get Festus on. Where's, where's our melee guy? Oh, he's outside the fucking gate! Fuck! Shit! There you go. He's getting his health back slowly. Get in there. Go, go, go. Push in. Get our giants on the uh, our trolls on their range. If they don't fucking die, we're good though. We actually haven't taken many casualties at all. The giant got a little fucked up for a second, but he's good. Where's our hero? There we go. So this guy will beat the brakes off just about anybody. He's essentially like just a fantastic duelist. Insane armor piercing potential up at, uh, you know, 340 because of the great weapons. And then poison, reducing their damage. Guys, remind me to switch the sort of anti-heroes to our melee general though after this. Because I'm, I'm going to forget like every time. Hello. <laughs> Hi. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the uh, 20 sec dono. Wait, 20 sec? That's like Swedish krona? Second Swedish krona, right? Uh, okay, we gotta push that range like now. They're chipping away at us. It ain't fun. Let's watch Boris duke it out. 
with your boy. Look at that mustache covered in blood. We'll win that fight though, easily. Like, we're, he's barely making a den and we're just like absolutely butchering him. Oh, the giant again. Push, 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 push. Fuck. I'm gonna bundle these guys together actually, because they need to stick. Oh my God, Festus. God, you stand still for one second and these uh, archers will not let you live. Yikes. Man, Boris is not taking as much damage as I expected. Oh, yes, fucking regen, right? Of course. Of course. We got this. We got this. Thanks for the dono, though, by the way. I don't quite. Does Festus give off a constant regen? Yes, he does. He has a 35 meter regen um, that replenishes hit points by 0 0.20%. Uh, per, well, zero, whatever the fuck that means per second, etc. Go, 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 go. Push their archers. And we're gonna lose! Oh, okay, we're getting a little duked up by, uh... By your boy Boris, but he's fucked. He's so absolutely dead. Push, push, push! Go! We're just gonna have to push through. Oh, this is never gonna end. Oh, Boris is screwed. Wait, what's the speed looking like? 31 to 27. Ah, oh, we're way too slow. There's no way. He has regen. Whatever, we'll get a horse pretty soon. That's where um, that's where your exalted hero of siege starts to get really strong. When you get when you have a, a horse under that fella. What the fuck was that? Oh, it cancelled it. I was like, what? <laughs> I thought it just cancelled the direction of it completely. I don't call it. You have the giant regenerating next to Festus, right? Yeah, that's why I have them in the same group. So the giant will just follow him around. Look, it's, it's already back up to almost half health. But th this is a, a good example of how fast they regenerate look. It's pretty good. It's really pretty good. Like, you can leave him next to the uh, the giant at the end of the fight, and it'll get back up to full HP every single time. You just gotta win, and then have your guys stand around, and uh, you can get much more region than you would have otherwise gotten uh, throughout the course of the fight. You just gotta make sure they don't all retreat off the map. Oh, see, look, he's almost back to half health already. I'm a little worried. Boris is no, not to be fucked with, and Mustache is something else. Warriors of Nerd, Plague and Filth. Oops. We were, were what is going on? Oh! <laughs> he jawed him. Listen, you pull up. Oh! Boris! Thanks for the content, my man. Have a good evening. Hey, thanks for the dono, my dude. We were, were what is going on also? <laughs> Another $20, 20 sec dono. <laughs> <laughs> you can't ask me a question or some shit through that, man. You don't, it doesn't have to be a, to a statement. Where the fly lord I appreciate the none of though, my dudes. Thank you very much. Blood. Thanks for the content, my man. Have a good evening. You are welcome, my dude. Show hey, yes. Rest. Okay, Boris has been laid to rest. His mustache will, will rest for all eternity. And we carried it. So, this is a good opportunity to show this off because I think it's... Some of these units are not gonna be able to get the full region, but for like a hero and a giant and stuff like that Just slap that Your movement on get him into a little bundle here And you can regen quite a lot of their health over the last cost of the battle because there's no cap for this And for the giant, it's extremely good, especially if you're in a tight spot You just win like a, a, a ferric, you know, a, a ferric victory, whatever uh, You can actually Make good use of this for the giant and your hero especially so like milady is going to be back to full health in no time and so is the giant and so is festus as long as they don't hit their heal cap which shouldn't be possible considering the 25 uh, percent increase of the heal cap that you get uh from his uh uh starting campaign buff yeah so there you go giant's almost at full health not near its he healing cap either god i wish you could look at the heal cap it's kind of annoying 
We'll get there. And this isn't even with uh, healing spells. So eventually, like, if anybody gets extremely low, like the giant, whatever, the hero, a single entity doom stack led by Festus is probably going to be ridiculous. So just like 19 giants with Festus or 19 exalted heroes of Nurgle with Festus would be insane. The regen would be just insane. I probably, <laughs> I probably should have done that instead of um, Valkyrie, but I, Valkyrie was getting a bad name. There you go, back to full health pretty much entirely. Plus victory. Friends just hanging out, Nurgle really are the good guys. What's better than this? Guys being dudes. I don't call it. he fixed the monkey, check this card. Oh. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Fat in Discord, or uh, he just goes by Fat with two Ts. <laughs> Let me uh, grab this and slap it up on stream. I gotta say, I'm, I don't want to say goodbye to the fedora though, you know? I like the little fedora. Oh, sorry. There we go. Sorry about that. Press this. My bad. That's why we're doing <laughs> this end screen. <laughs> Let me just, uh... It's around. Stream images. There you go. We'll swap back and forth. We'll have a little uh, Nurgle monkey for now. All right, razor standard, eight, eight armor piercing, pretty negligible to be honest. I would like to see some better banners. The, one of my favorite mods for Warhammer Two and going into Warhammer Three was the uh, the uh, ba re banner mod, which uh, re reworked all the banners to make them actually impactful and do good stuff, which I think is a really underrated, the really underrated mod. Uh, recruitment cost, attrition... Wait, attrition suffered by the defender, 10% when laying siege. Yeah, that's right. Enrich my power to oh. What a good boy. Yeah, financially, you see, we're in the rough. Like, we don't even have half a banner, and we're only making like 1,800 per turn. I mean, that's not too bad, but... Like, within very short order, you can have a full banner and be earning 3 or 4k per turn with a uh, village. And Azazel is just ridiculous. With Azazel, I had a full 2020, a full 2020, a full 20 uh, stack banner. Um, and I was earning about 7,000 per turn. And this was maybe like turn 25, 30. Just insane. Like, because you can get so many keeps up in uh, Norska. They attack. Uh, what's the bucket? All right. Can we get our hero? Our extra hero in one turn. And we don't have any money. Instant re uh, replenishment, though. Growth. Yes. Nurgle's good for growth, if nothing else. Da sword. Give my lady the sword. Oh, yeah. Dude, you guys are actually good at remembering shit. Do you know what I mean? This is why I asked you guys to remind me, because my feeble chimp brain is only capable of remembering maybe one or maybe two things at a stretch. There we go. If, you see, if he had the sword of anti-heroes in that last fight, he would have been able to put... Um, he would have been able to put Boris's mustache in the ground way sooner. Dark. Uh, a couple of Nurglings might be a good idea, although I kind of just want to prioritize Marauders, because for this stream, I would love to get okay, some Marauders of Nurgle off the chosen. streaming today. Can you please change the Nurgle champion's name to Steven Asante? Thanks, love you, bye. Steven Asante? Now, hold on, let me look who that, up who that is first. Because... Wait... Steven and Justin Asante. Steven's Asante's dis dysfunction uh, escalates pushing his relationship. Where, where is this? Risky decision? What is this? <laughs> oh no! What is Who is this? I is this just some morbidly obese guy? It's some fat guy. Who is this? It's just some morbidly obese guy who was on that, 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 uh, my 600 pound body or whatever. My 600 pound life. Um, I guess that's a weird name. But, okay. All right, buddy. There's, there's your, uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Thanks for the dono. <laughs> that's a weird na uh, name choice. All right, uh, her gig. Oh, his voice is so good, dude. I don't know what it is, but happy sounding legendary lords get just make me so happy. 
We'll, get, we'll pick up some Nurglings, why not? Book out the banner. But I want to focus on uh, keeping a, a lot of upkeep per turn because we're very strong. Even with a small army, we're extremely strong. Uh, okay, one more rank. We can get. We can level them up. And... From, I'm pretty sure the great weapons were outperforming the regular guys. No! At Oko, somebody added a fedora to the- <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so hold on. The monkey has been upgraded. Hold on. He's been <laughs> upgraded. He has a katana and a fedora. And the mini nice to be has able a to catch a stream. And he Been has a missing claw? a lot of them. <laughs> oh god. Thank you for that, guys. <laughs> uh good work, good work. Thank you for that. Uh by uh one, two, three, two. Oh man. This is see this is what uh This is what it it should be used for. Photoshop should be used for. Goofy shit like that. Ah, oh, good stuff. Make Thank you for the dono, dollars. by the way. Nice to be able to catch a stream, been missing a lot of them. Hey, that's um that's Gandalf. Gandalf the gun. Valiant defeat, okay. Um that sucks. Nurglings with a little bit of armor piercing would be nice. We got this. This is easy. Easy fight, easy clap. Ever night. Coming one of the boys. Uh welcome aboard, my dude. Thanks for the uh coming a member. Is the gig is the gigant starting unit okay, or is it like, or is like a beast of Nurgle better? Is the okay? I'm gonna assume you mean is the giant a good starting unit, or would a uh, beast of Nurgle be better? Uh, the giant's probably better. It's just a higher tier unit. Giants are just generally better uh, um, in general now. Like both of them give you the uh, siege attacker trait, but a giant is actually, although it's a bigger target, I think that they ha have more utility. You know, also they have wall breaker, which is invaluable like right here if we didn't have the giant we would uh we're, we're, we would be about to get fucked up by towers so for this this uh castle the best way to attack is right here because the, none of these towers can hit you and it's a nice open uh, area for you to get an avenue into the city from and as long as you stick your uh, guys close together you know like your infantry formation then you're good i don't fail i'm gonna stick these guys in a little group actually but if we didn't have that giant, we'd have no avenue of access to this section. Uh, okay, yeah, Alright, hey, Alright, so push up to the wall. Can you rename the raw nerdy um, giant Pokemon fart compilation? Also incoming <laughs> fart noise PPA of fart R. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm, get, I, I'm not getting put on a watch list. <laughs> That's fucking gross. Uh, thank you for the dodo, though. I, that, that, uh... Oh, that's so gross. Why, does she fought so much that there's a compilation? Is that, is that a thing? Oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 I, I forgot. So, ya boy is on a, um... Dude, I love that. Look how far back he sits in the saddle. Pro like, real cowboy style, like, leaning back in the cut. Very cool, very cool. With the size of these, um, with these chaos horses and shit, too. Very cool. Legitimately extremely cool. Edokoi. It actually is? Dude, gross. Warriors of Nurgle. Keep for all! Uh, no attacking the walls. I mean, I don't understand why ogres can attack walls, but trolls can't. They're about the same size. Ogres are a little bit taller, I guess. I don't call it. Get a unit of plague toads and name it Bathwater Drinker. Also, thank you for becoming a member, Torja. Didn't you just become a patron as well? I could have sworn you just became a patron. Remember to join the Discord too, dude. You get a bunch of benefits if you're uh, joining the Discord through the Patreon. Thank you. Um, 
Metokoi confesses heal the zombies of Helm and Ghost when they are allies. Oh, that's a weird question, but probably. That's a very specific question, uh, considering they don't really stop near each other at all. But uh, if you facilitated it, yeah, it could probably happen. That'd be insane, actually. What the fuck? Wait, where's my... Where's my hero? Wait, what? Wait, where's... Hold on. Wait, 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 what happened to my hero? What? Where is he? Did he die? What happened? He's not on my recruit. Did I retreat him? Adoka, he got crushed by the wall. Are you fucking serious? What? He was on the wall? What? No fucking way. No way. Hold on. Let me save that replay. Milady. I have to see. Are you serious? Hold on, I have to look at this. I have to I have to go and rewatch that. I have to see what it, Yeah, he died! What the fuck? What? He stood too close to the wall when it fell? Dude, I have to watch this now. What? I will I'm pretty sure I quick save before that fight, so it's fine. But I ha I have to go look at the replay. What? There's no way that just happened. Did he did he like glitch out and fall through the map or Yeah he fucking died! That's bullshit! Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Yeah, Adoka, yeah, he died the, the moment the wall fell. Fuck. All right. Let me look at this. I have to, I have to see. <laughs> I have to see what just happened. I cannot believe that that's a thing. That used to happen to me in, um, in like Medieval 2 or Rome 2 and shit, where like atta you'd attack, a, you'd uh, capture a tower. And the tower would fall down, and it would just crush my general when they were capping a point. You can just rematch, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, be, I'll rematch in a second. I just want to see it happen. So... There he is. Did I even get him close to the wall? I was, like, looking at him and shit. God, he looks fucking cool. This is easily my favorite, uh, lord. A new exalted hero. So he gets up to the wall here. Not particularly close. Oh, he's working his way to the front. Oh, he is pretty close. He's not that close. Hold on. I don't understand. Why would he die? What the fuck? Did he have a heart attack? What the fuck was that? Are you fucking kidding me? He just keeled the fuck over. Man just fell off and fainted. What the fuck? Jesus. Okay, lesson learned. My bad. Let's load the Discord admins campaign. <laughs> what the fuck? A bit of the rubble hit him? No, he fucking got scared like a mouse when it gets attacked by a cat and he had a heart attack and fucking died. That was nothing. Nothing happened. A wall fell over near him and he was so shocked he died of a heart attack. Dies from cringe. <laughs> he literally died from cringe. God, what a death. What an unbelievable Farted death. Farted into oblivion by Pokimane. Ha ha ha, Rex. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Thank you for the dono, I think. The Discord admins, for fuck's sake. You a real one, whoever suggested that name. God, it's fucking hot right now. It's like... God, it's 36 degrees in my room right now. Eat a dick, the UK. Alright, fuck being careful. No, actually, don't fuck being careful. Because apparently you'll fucking die! And have a heart attack! Alright, so, I'm gonna maintain some distance from the wall this time. Interesting how the giant didn't instantly die. From being near the wall. 
We're gonna stay way back this time. We're gonna stay. Oh, actually, I'm gonna come and attack the gate with these guys. And the trolls, because getting around the side pockets is, is extremely useful. Oh, the towers are active. Fuck. Oh. Regen for the boy. We're just gonna fast forward up to the wall again. Hello, Koi. Thanks for the lesson. I was just digging that strategy. <laughs> Wait, the lesson? <laughs> um, yeah, don't, don't, uh, lesson-wise, don't put your, um, your hero a foot away from a wall that's about to fall down. And he won't die. My new Nurgle tutorial. Fucking gunners, dude. Man, I think I'm gonna do a Volkmar free uh, company militia doom stack as well at some point. I'd love to do like get back to some of the older factions, you know, like the Empire and shit. Are you okay, dude? Are you okay, milady? Well, let's keep this guy over here. I'm so terrified he's just gonna die instantly. All right, we're almost, we're almost to the wall. There it is. Go, 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 go. Let's get my lady in there. Mephestus? Mephestus? Through the gates. All mo oh, yeah, there we go. And straight onto the rushes. And their gunners. And get our giant on their gunners. And get my lady to do literally anything. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. No! They took their swordsmen off the walls. All right. Come on, Festus, get in there. Get our giants in. I mean, our infantry. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, we didn't. Hold on. We didn't look at the blue boy. The little blue guy. Oh, I can't do it because of the uh, restrictive camera. Hold on. Get in there, bud. Come on. Come on. Let's fucking go. See these animations, by the way. Oh. He just horse butted him. Ah, oh, so fucking cool. And which Warhammer Hammer has the best uh, feet? Awesome, so cool. Fuck! Okay, we're getting kind of fucked out here. Trolls, retreat! Giants, where's the giant? Got on the archers. I'm gonna switch to, to um, damage for a little bit here. Let really me get the put the hurt on him. Cause look at this. Uh, the, the DPS is uh, surprisingly good. You're looking at a uh, a 24 to 48 damage per second. What is with this? A Where are you going? What is with the AI on these siege maps lately? I don't know if there's been a tiny change recently, but it's uh, fucked their pathing. But it's significantly worse than it's been. Never seen this happen before. Go, 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 go. Kill the swordsman. Wait until we get Billy's Thunder Guff in the mix. Dude, they haven't even put a den into Milady. Look at this chat. Look at this monstrous chat. Oh, so cool. I'm simping for my lady. Stop talking about punk main farts in chat. Fuck. Stop being <laughs> fucking degenerates. <laughs> Come on. At least talk about ogre farts or something relevant. Even, even like Marathi farts. I don't know. Just <laughs> make it Warhammer relevant at least. Fuck. Adokoi, do you know uh, that there was a woman who was hospitalized for farting too much? She sold the bottle farts to weird simps. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna retire, you weirdos.
The crow Who buys death. some nasty ass lady's bottom farts? Why? 23 Kindon Stack and 20 Sylvania Pitman when? I only resub for farts. <laughs> oh, sorry, my fart, um, my fart bottle merch is gonna be going up uh, next season. Don't worry about it. My ogre fart merch. Knock down the walls. We're doing pretty good. Regen, definitely back to regen. We gotta get our giant up on the uh, on that shit. Of Nagel, make cadavers. Hey, uh, oh, dude, it jumps for days. Good stuff. Oh, oh my god. Uh, something that I would like to see introduced to this game, I think, would be a middle ground style unit. Somewhere between monstrous infantry and, uh, and like, uh, like high tier melee infantry. So you know how in, like, Total War Troy, uh, you get, like, giants that are essentially, they're not, I wouldn't call them monstrous infantry because they're not that big, but when they hit, they create splash attacks. So I'd love to see something like that. So they add in those, uh, you know those Nurgle guys? that are uh we were just somebody was just talking about them how they're essentially they're they're all like seven foot dudes you know they're big so why don't they have slash decks that knock enemies back but not on the same level as monster infantry? just big big guys big fellas three big guys and they bust on my eyes let's go Regen. Ooh, okay, these dogs are getting messed up. Fuck, okay, you know what? Well, there they go. Yes! I like it! That unit exists. It's called your mom. Sorry, I just just banning uh banning Nicholas Jams Donkey for the from the chat for that uh ridiculous burn. How dare you? How absolutely dare you. On my own street. Oh oh shit. Oh my god, the whole game froze. I thought we were getting a crash. I was like, damn, this is going down. After Milady's ridiculous death at the hands of a fucking wall, the game is about to crash? No sir. No, yeah. sir. I don't call it big fat characters co-op campaign when. Dude, I would love to do something like that. I'm still trying to coerce um, Kraken into, yeah. doing, into letting me into his Fat Boys campaign, but he has his own uh, streaming community and stuff. So uh, maybe that's something I can facilitate with some uh, Total War YouTubers or something. Or just uh, grab some of my Discord patrons, but then, you know, that, there's a certain level of... I don't know. You gotta have the game installed on SSD, and you gotta, you know... Otherwise, the turn times are gonna be ridiculous, and then you're looking at all kinds of desync because people's internet sucks. I would only be able to do a co-op campaign stream, like a fat guy's co-op campaign stream, if I had enough people with, like, a good-ass computer and good internet, you know? Which is hard to facilitate, you know? Not everybody can afford, like... A really good PC or an SSD. Even. I'm, I'm this pretty is sure you, the audience like, you created. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I guess you're only as uh, you pick up the audience that you deserve. I guess. What do the gods desire? Uh, I still like you guys, even if you do make weird scuffed farting memes. Talk about Pokemon fart compilations. Oh. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, knock him off the barricade, dude! What is this? He's just pressuring him. POV. You're you're pressuring. You're pressuring a girl at a party in the corner. Drunk on the street. Oh, his ass, dude! Beat his ass. Ah, uh, Milady OP. 
Dips Fedora. Drop it over stream when I will drink it with you. Dude, oh my god, that would be. A f I, I think the only thing I could imagine that would be more chaotic than a stream with with Discord patrons would be, or Discord members in general would be a Discord uh, related go campaign with people who are drinking. Thank you for the donut though. I don't quite get the least. Get at least one to two furries for all of the towers during settlement battles. Furies. Oh, <laughs> I read that as furries. I was like, what? I thought you were talking about the call campaign. You're like, make sure you bring one to two furries. <laughs> no, yeah, they, you're, that's a good idea. That's actually not a bad idea. But my problem is furies are going to get completely sniped by towers. Um, or, uh, sorry, just ranged units in general. I'm gonna just push down this, uh, column, cause we need that regen and the post-battle loot, because that's when we start getting fat stacks. You gotta focus on post-battle loot when you're playing, um, Festus, because you obviously can't rely on a lot of vassals and allies. Oh, except for the orcs. There we go. It begins, the Black Pit Tribe. So you get a non-aggression pack, that puts up your, uh, happiness a little bit, they've only got negative 10 aversion, that equalizes it. And then the more that we fuck up Midland uh, and the Empire and stuff, the, the more they'll like us. Maybe I can uh, vassalize them, though. What if I, like, destroyed the Orcs and then I can vassalize them instead of just... Hmm. Maybe that's an option. I'll think about that. Allies are just as valuable as, um, as vassals, though. Ooh, uh, I don't know. Wait. 25% ammunition for Marauder Horseman and Marauder Horse Master units faction wide. Well, fuck me. 3k though. Nah, fuck that. We need, this needs to be defended, especially if we're going to be going down to the bottom left. All right, yeah, boy. Adokoi, Nurgle champion. Ah, yes. It's going to be a regular champion. Unholy Strike or Evil Eyeball. Unholy Strike. So we only get one. It'll be Ragnar Godslayer. Okay, off. God damn it. Hold on. Ugh. Oh. Here we go. Ragnar Longcock. As in Ragnar Lothbrok. Ugh. Oh. Comedy. So we'll, uh, two heroes will be a ridiculous melee beatdown force. Staying strong since you hey. said so. Thank you, Smile Also 30. Mixed. War shrines when? Hey, thanks for the donut, my dude. Uh. Uh. Mixed? Okay, War Shrines. Um. It'll have to be after release because the console that I uh, I use for um, speeding up the production of Doomstacks, like for certain units, you you can't get that amount of them. So if you look in, the only way for us to get uh, a War Shrine is down here. Even if you're playing an Undivided Faction, is uh, the recruitment pool for them is usually down here at 15,000, which is a lot. That's a lot. You really have to go out of your way to earn that amount um, to get your hands on just a couple of these, and it's 200 to turn. So, you just will be instantly blah, blah, blah. And then there's, like, caps involved and stuff, apparently. It's just, like, so in order to get, um, the, the IDs don't work. So in order to get, uh, proper spawn IDs and for that console mod to be patched. Because initially, I hey, was going to do... you want to tell my why your oh, most watched oh, Warhammer video oh. is a giant foot stepping on people? No, it's not. Is it? Is it still there? I'm pretty sure it got taken over. My most watched videos are, uh, Elden Ring videos. Oh yeah, it is. It's the giant video. Go watch the lead belchers one, so it takes over it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, um, it's because I don't know that that dude. That's an interesting story because a, some a lot of my videos, you know, get reasonable views and stuff, which I'm super happy about and everything. But that giant video took me like an hour to make. I I, I was in contact with a modder, a really talented modder called Rumple, um, and he made uh. I was like, could you just make a giant, super giant, just so it's like fucking huge, dude? That would be, that would be awesome. Uh, that'd be really cool. Um, and then, <laughs> just stupid shit mod ideas. And he's like, okay, dude, and he did it. And then I made a video of it just like fighting Balthazar Gelt. And I was like, there you go, that's kind of cool. That, that was kind of a fun, you know, little goofy mod. Look how big he is, isn't that funny? Um, and then I reused it later for a 19 um, giant Doom stack. But that, just on a whim, and then the algorithm picked it up. Of course, of all the videos, like, I put, 
I'll put I put hours and hours into editing um, videos, and then that one that was my mo that's my most popular video, a video that I literally spent maybe an hour making, recording, editing, and uploading. <laughs> it was like an hour, maybe two hours. And I was done with it. It's crazy. YouTube is crazy. The algorithm is crazy. It's a mystery, dude. Oh man, okay, zero, 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 zero. God damn it. We have like no high value units. Alright, plague it is. Wait, which is the one that I was doing? Uh, egg. This one, because I want minus 50% casualties. There we go. And, uh, we've got 2,000. We should be able to. Oh, no, wait, because it'll cost me 500. Okay, let's just keep earning some stuff. Oh, uh. Hey man, you wanted some? Oh yeah, wait, I already had that one. Nick, thanks for the one dollar dono peach for a peach ass emoji. Um, oh yeah, wall shrines. I tried. I already tried making, and then it did. It didn't work. The spawn ID codes didn't work, so I couldn't make a new stack out of them. Um, I would have to manually recruit them, which I just don't. I don't have the time or know how to be able to do that. Um, especially with the with limited embargo time, you know what I mean. But I'll do it after launch. You know, once the uh, console mod gets updated, I'll. I'll jump right on that uh, Wall Shrine Doom set because I'd love to see 19 of those things. Led by a Chaos Sorcerer on top of one himself. Useless dead toddler with a 50 toddler. I don't know. I can't believe that's just... Dude, you're gonna... You, like, every time you commented on a video, that's gonna pop up now, my guy. Somebody's gonna read your comment. Oh, uh, useless dead toddler at the top of the comment section. That's, that's, that's totally normal and cool. Uh... Thank you. $50 dono. Holy shit, I just realized. 50 euro dono. They see me festing, they hate it. <laughs> he definitely rides rides dirty. They, ca they catch him green and nerdy. Uh, God, see, I just... Uh, Twisted Relic is a risk, though, because if your garrison's like... The, the crazy thing about... Nurgle, um, these garrisons is this garrison here in Hergig. This, when it's fully replenished, will hold off this army. It will easily kill this army in an auto resolve. I don't know why, but chaos carries so much weight in an auto resolve, it is insane. That being said, if you play the fight, usually you can win. All right, okay. Oh, nice. What can humble try? Right, I'm gonna go north and fight Nordland. Wait, is Middenheim dead? Shit, no, they own Karaburg. Fuck. Now, fuck it, we'll go south. Oh, but then it's, we're trespassing. Stupid orcs, god damn it. They'll probably get their shit pushed in soon, though, so we'll be fine. Uh, oh, god damn it. Alright. Nurgle hates pestilence? What? They're, they are pestilence. Okay, uh, what do you think will be the most thematic co-op factions uh, game? I say Nurgle plus Clan Pestilence. Um, yeah, not bad. They're sort of like adjacent. Like they're both involved with you know plagues and shit like that. So maybe. Uh, theme wise, I think. Uh, I think just. I don't know. It, it's factions that make sense. You know what I mean? So like. It's weird when somebody's uh, playing, all, like, if you all played auto factions, so somebody playing Empire, somebody playing Dwarves, somebody playing, I don't know, Bretonia, that kind of shit, like the Holy Triumphant of, like, allied They're factions and stuff. Fair now the... God damn it, useless dead toddler. Thank you for the $10 don't know. <laughs> you got a Path of Glory? Path of Glory? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Path of Glories are... Oh, dude, what? Regeneration and 5% hit points. That is ins that's actually so good. And that'll probably combine with uh, Festus's uh, AoE heal, which is going to make uh, this guy like a mini god. That's nuts. That's really cool. And he also has access to other stuff. Wait, win a battle uh, against an enemy led by a spellcaster. Oh, okay, well, that's sort of inevitable. Lose a battle and survive. Huh. Lose a battle and survive. Could I Could I just, like, in theory, just attack and then re uh, attack a faction and then retreat just to get this little 5% ward save? 2,000 much reach rank 5. Alright, we'll get into rank 5 soon and we'll have double Nurgle boys. In the meantime... Yeah, fuck it. Let's go fuck up Nordland. Maybe we can give the territory to the, uh... to the Greenskins. Or maybe we could vassalize a faction. Ooh. Okay, that might be a good idea. I might go vassalize one of the factions over the uh, ocean just to get an extra dark fortress and a vassal. 
That would be okay. Yeah, that's gonna be my plan. I don't quite tomorrow Valkia. Um, probably not tomorrow. I just got my driving license, dude. So I want to do like a road trip or something. I know that's stupid, but uh, I've been trying to get my license through COVID for like four years now. Um, off and on, like money problems and all that stuff. You know how life is. But I finally got my my driving license, so I want to do some stuff with that. I know that's weird, but I'll definitely continue streaming, like for sure. I would love to do a um. Uh, a uh fuck what's his name slaneshi guy azazel i'd love to do an, an azazel campaign or a co-op campaign maybe with somebody uh that'd be a lot of fun but yeah we'll just we'll see how it goes all right congratulations thank you my dude freedom exactly right dude you you don't even know how like the feeling when you get back and you uh you can finally just drive whatever you want is insane irl road trip stream <laughs> I could, uh, I'll tell you what, I could uh, take a road trip down to Horsham and go to the CA offices and knock on their door and demand to be let in. Reveal your secrets to be CA. And then I get escorted off the premises and handcuffs and arrested for a couple of days. That'd be a fun stream. <laughs> you know, and then banished from the uh, content creator program. That'd be great. Alright. Okay, training. Definitely training, because passively, even when I'm fighting battles, we're getting just that little bit of um, XP that is absolutely nothing. Armor trolls. Uh, hmm. Man, I want this DLC out. I played the campaign to death within the first two weeks of me having the game. Yeah. Um, dude, think about the, the sheer volume of campaigns that you can do. Co-op campaigns, everything. Think about the amount of content at your fingertips very soon, man. Maintain your excitement. Oh, good shit. All right. The there are so many poison hounds. All right. Assistance. Fuck it. We're going full smashy boys. Non-great weapons are for pussies. Shields are for so babies. All right. Good stuff. So we're, we'll take out Nordland if we can, because there's some big Liza, spicy banners here full of like tier one infantry, but I'm pretty sure we can cut through that with our regen. Then I'm going to go across the ocean and take the uh, guys that are here. Hopefully it's not owned by Wolfric yet. Uh, can we test? Can we check that actually? Or we not discover them yet? Um, no, dude, we barely see any factions. You want any anything to do with us yet? Welcome, <laughs> stranger. Man, apparently not. We still got plagues. We do for four turns. Is this uh? Does this stack? Can I keep? With duration one. Can I keep adding? more uses to plagues or does it just stack on top oh also i think somebody wanted to see these so the crumbling egg black plague green pox nogles rot and the grim shakes i think it's all wait the grim shake seems wait plague festus's palsy festus palsy festus rot festus buboes festus pox and festus egg okay so there's apparently like a festus version spread plague festus egg Okay, that's just what these are called. So these are Festus's plagues, apparently. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, these are like Festus-based ones. Yeah, look, souls gained from battles plus 15%. And Nurgle authority plus one, not negative eight leadership. Okay, that's actually better. I see what you mean. Like Nurgle, ba uh, specifically Festus's ones are different. God damn it. Whoops. Okay, yeah, my bad. I'm glad, I'm glad I looked at that. I know, Koi, when do you think CA will release Chaos Dwarves? You're probably looking at a big weight on that, man. Like, I would be surprised. Considering the fact that that uh, this Chaos DLC is going to be releasing soon, and then Immortal Empires is just going to be fully out for people to dive into for a while, I wouldn't be surprised if we were looking at maybe a three to four month wait until the Chaos draws. But I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong. If I, if I had to guess, though, me personally, I would say we're probably be looking at a couple of months. Considering the amount of stuff that they have to work on, you know, patching the game and everything, I think I honestly personally think CA have done a, CA have done a fantastic job Considering the sheer amount, the volume of work that they have to deal with, uh, I think they've done a pretty good job. Wait, did I not add this? Okay, there we go. That's fine. Dude, why did they abandon their castle? <laughs> that makes this so much easier. Holy shit. Medium casualties again? Are you fucking serious? Ah, oh, you wacky dog. This looks fun. Dude, I, I, I genuinely, genuinely think that Nurgle, that Festus is an underrated character. I think that, uh, I think he's better than a lot of people would consider. Um, I, like, I think when you're up against, like, like, you know, cool-ass characters like Village, uh, Azazel, like a flying demon character with amazing animations, you're up against, you know, 
um, Valkyrie the Bloody. Like, amazing characters with tons of lore and really insane designs. I think uh, a big fat green guy with a giant neck sack kind of gets pushed to the side a little bit. But, um, I, I like him. I like him for sure. Adokoi, how, for the love of God, do you guys from the UK are able to change gears with your left hand? Because uh, that's, it's just how it's done here, my guy. Uh, in my defense, I uh, switched to automatic. Festus Top Hat Mod now. Uh, Festus, Jesus Christ, $50 dono from Leon Orango. Festus up in that mod now. Dude, as soon as I get mod tools, I will do a Festus neckbeard mod with a fedora. I promise. Also, if if I if I can, I'll put a, um, a fedora on this little guy. Look how cute he is! Look at him! He's like a little helpful guy. He's got a little... He looks like a Rick and Morty character to me. He just sits there, he stares, he smiles. He's got little titties. Underrated little guy. I think he's adorable. Nobody talks about him. Warriors of Nether. Only in the pocket, for sure. All right. Uh, all right. We got two Exalted heroes now. Hero. This one doesn't have a horse, so I'm Master just gonna mix him in with our infantry until he gets a little bit more XP. I'm gonna rush that gate too with all of our dogs. All right, and lesson learned. Don't go near that fucking wall. Ooh! Oh, wait, that's just a single unit of archers. All right. I'm down. Regen. Power stone. Good stuff. Come on. Oh, dude. The range, the casting range for Summa Corruption needs to be increased. That's Love me, weak. Blakes. Love me, Pestilence. Simple as. What the fuck, Festus? Come on, finally. Jesus. Love me, Flakes. Love me, Pestilence. Simple as. Let's get for the donos, my dudes. Yeah, dude, I'm so excited to do that neckbeard mod. I'm genuinely, like, I haven't touched the uh, mod tools for a long time, obviously, because I've had a Mortal Empires access for so long. Uh, none of it's been, you know, compatible and everything. And I don't want to be fucking with the assets when it's not... Now it's a public release. I don't want to get any trouble. So I've generally uh, left a lot of it pretty untouched. So it'll be nice to dig back into the mod tools and uh, start crafting some stupid shit. Oh my god, fuck. No, get away from the wall! Get away from the wall, m'lady! M'lady, get the fuck away from the wall right now! You dipshit. Everybody away from the wall. Ooh, Armored Chaos Trolls. So underrated. Get him, dude! I, oh my god. Hit the wall! What's my giant doing? I don't go. I remember to stay hydrated. Uh, it's our sp oh, spreader of caustic pestilence. You mean me, or do you mean, um... Do you mean the little blue guy on Festus' shoulder constantly, you know, pouring his potions for him and shit? Dude, Chaos Warhounds have such dog shit leadership. Haha, <laughs> literally. Oh, okay, or not. Or don't, I guess. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so covered in blood and his mouth is just so pink. <laughs> Wait, I want to see if I can rebound this, because if you if you can get a rebound, it, it gets a double cast as it rebounds off the wall. Festus, where are you going? Festus! God damn it, dude. I'd say the pathing is probably my least favorite thing about this game currently. Just look at this pathing. My giant and the, and the, the Nurgling is going all the way around. Might as well cast something. Little Warhammer Pathfinding is such a joke. It does need some work. It's probably my least favorite thing is just like the conflicts with walls and the pathfinding in general. That's probably my only real complaint I have with the game though. Everything else from the design, the sieges, all that kind of stuff. It's AI. The AI needs the most amount of work. It, the, 
The fact that they can only build level 1 towers, and that's all they do is spam level 1 towers. The fact that they pop up only uh, barricade platforms, and they don't build anything else, except for maybe traps occasionally. And the fact that most of the time, this is the first time I've seen the AI bundle around something. For the majority of the time, they spread all the units out wide in a province, so that you spend 40 minutes <laughs> trying to conquer the entire Set thing, the running forward. around, getting ripped to shreds by missile units. Spots. We'll get there, though. People uh, like to forget how bad Warhammer 2 was on launch in terms of some of the uh, some of the issues, and especially Warhammer 1, actually. The game improved massively. Warhammer 2 got better and better and better and better and better. And so will Warhammer 3. Hey, you're getting there. Easy clap. We can fast forward this, right? That's a, that's a win. How <laughs> is that not up? There we go. Army losses. I was like, what? At Okoy, it's pretty. Uh, it's actually pretty normal for units to not try to go uh, all through a single breach point gate in a siege. The game chooses not to blow more units than necessary in a breach. Yeah, but like, can they take that out? Because, <laughs> because I don't want my. Okay, them deviating and going all the way around when I don't want them to isn't that much of a, a big deal. But the more uh, destructive thing is when you try and get multi like your big blob of infantry through the main gate and they start climbing the ladders. Climbing ladders takes much, much longer and in a lot of cases can get your units killed. I mean, I'm glad that they fixed the gate bug more than anything. That was the worst thing. When you would charge a bunch of infantry at a gate, they would open, your, your infantry would go through, they would close, and everything inside the gate would die. That drove me insane, dude. I lost generals because of that bug. Like, that was, uh, that was one of the worst. Ooh, wait, ammunition 25% from Roll of Horsemen. Will that stack with the one that we uh, could have potentially built here? Because if I build that, that's 50% more ammunition for Marauder units. <laughs> which would actually be pretty good. If I can ever actually recruit any cavalry, that is. Alright. Training. Wait, they don't stack. They don't stack. Right, these are mutually exclusive ones. Assist army can only be done by one of them. Otherwise, you could get ridiculous amounts of XP. Okay, make the little blue guy say goddamn like Noob Noob from Rick and Morty. <laughs> like, like, god damn. Why? <laughs> what a weird example. With a, a very specific example. Alright, they are probably not going to attack us. We're good. Okay, can't really afford a secondary army yet while still being able to earn anything financially. Okay, there we go. We, we can see scaling. So I'm going to attack the Altar of the Crimson Harvest and get the Nilfgaardlings as a vassal, hopefully, and then that'll give us like a bit of extra money. To take on the Empire. Adokoi, yes it stacks. Are you sure? Uh, Adokoi, training skill is useless anyway. It's like 5 XP per turn. No, it used to be 5 XP per turn. Now it's been changed. So it's it's uh, 20 and... No, no, no. 10 and 20 and 50 or something like that. Let me check. It's higher than you would expect now though. It, it, settlement received play breast keep. Dude, I, <laughs> I keep thinking that's a bad thing. So they get... Um, yeah, it's 35, 35, then 50, and then 100, I want to say? No, it's, yeah, 20, then 35, then 50. 50, it should, in my opinion, it should start at 50, then go to 75, then go to 100, because it's, it's so little. It feels so small. Where is Nordland going? They just keep abandoning their settlements. Uh, I'm going to just auto that one. Occupy. Where's their full banner gone? Oh, wait. That could be bad, potentially. Because if they randomly attack us, they're probably going to attack Wrecker's Point, actually. Dude, the Greenskins are kind of killing it. Usually they're holed up in the Black Pit, not being able to do anything, but the fact that they're moving out, taking over Weissman and Wrecker's Point. Hey, Billy's Thunder Guff. There we go. Okay, so. Billy's Thunder. This is perfect, because now we've got an 18 stack, a 2020 20 stack. So. The Demon Spear are pretty good, but the Bilious Thunderguff has this ability. Where is it? There it is. Violent Wind. Better, uh, better out than in is a question 
is a questionable maxim, particularly for the unfortunate caught in this deadly reeking drought. So essentially, it's a fart spell that does 20 uh, damage to everything within a 7 meter radius and, uh, yeah, and afflicts corroded armor for 10 seconds. So this giant can literally fart and can literally shit on people. Yes! I like it! Oh! Hi Joel from Vine Source, huge fan. How do you feel about the geopolitical issues between Bolivia and Chile? I also love your new look, very handsome m'lady. What? <laughs> I do, I'm a big fan of Joel. Um, fucking... I, I like, remember watching his, uh, his old um, Roller Coaster Tycoon videos and like his... Um... No, no, Joel's cool. Joel's solid. God, dude. I, I, I've been watching Joel's content for like... This! Man, a long, long, long time. Like, literally, maybe, like, fucking eight years, eight to ten years. I remember watching his shit back in the day, like, way back in the day. I remember his channel getting hacked. Bunch of stuff. Joel is, uh, is based in Red Pilled, for sure. Also, the... I don't know anything about the geopolitical issues between Bolivia and Chile. Uh, but thank you about the look. I did... It is a new fedora. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, so passive ability, uh, Acid I Icar... And minus 10 armor in it. Thank you for the dono, by the way. $20 dono, my dude. Thank you. Um, melee damage reflection plus 6. Reflects melee damage back to the unit attacker. Is that good? Melee damage plus 6? Like, I don't know what that means in terms of... Like, is that a lot? Nurgle authority uh, is good. Wait, Nurgle authority? Oh, right, right. Nurgle corruption, right. Locus of fecundity could be good, but it's a use-based system. And we already have regen, and he has uh, regen because of his uh, path to glory ability. So, minus 10 ar uh, armor for enemy armies in the local province. That's probably going to be it. And this guy is not level 5 yet. Damn it. That's fine. Okay, okay can we attack sailing yet? I want to see where this northern guy is before I commit to sailing over the ocean. We unlocked weeping eyes. Oh, dude, good stuff. I'm just going to keep slapping these on. Like, I don't even know if... Good shits. Plus five infection. Uh, plus five uh, infections every time the plague is spread as well. And no money. Well, wait. Can we recruit anything? Anything good? Nope. Dude, wow. There's a, a distinct lack of recruitable units for this faction. Normally, I've been, I'm like decked out. I've got like seven units of trolls and shit. We're getting pretty bad luck. Uh, growth, chance of plague spreading would be good. Plague duration 100% for armies in the province. Probably Nurgle corruption. Let's start corrupting these people. Thank you. Oh, Anokoi, how do you feel about the Chosen of Nurgle? I think they look fine. However, they should be more rotten and more skin showing and a little bit more fat belly and rusted weapons like in the lore. Yes. Let me look up uh, pictures of the Chosen because the, the Chosen do look very similar. Uh... Oh, fuck. Okay, no, Ostland of Declare War on us. That's not great because... Ooh, okay. So, this is what they look like. Hold, hold the phone. This is what they look like, apparently. It's like, yeah, it's a little bit more gross. Their bellies, like, stick it out and shit. Uh, this is kind of what I'm, I'm used to. Is, is like this. I, I'm pretty sure that that isn't Chaos Warriors of Nurgle, though. I'm pretty sure those are, uh... Somebody mentioned them earlier, but they're like an, an elite... And a Plague Fathers or whatever the fuck? No, that's not it. They're, I think those are specific. That's not just Chaos Warriors of Nurgle. Uh, Chaos Chosen of Nurgle, right? Blight Kings, yeah. Those are not Blight Kings, not, a. Uh... Those are Blight Kings, not Chaos Warriors, I think. I would like to see... All Nurgle units be as gross and disgusting and plague ridden and with their guts hanging out and like fucking bellies on their armor and shit like that. Yeah, I think it's very, very Nurgle-ish. They, 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 they do look a tiny little bit too polished and, and shiny for my liking, at least for Nurgle. But they're still like rusted and stuff like that. It looks a little bit more like a reskin, but uh, the base model looks phenomenally cool anyway, so it's not a big, not a big concern of mine. Let's not to wait. Can we reach them in, in a single turn? I swear to fuck, if I attack this and then I come on, please, 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 please. Yes! Eat my whole dick in the same turn. 
G build two wieners. Adokoi, authority are the numbers in the bottom left corner above the Festus porthole and has nothing to do with the corruption. You no, it is corruption in the province. It's just called authority. Like your authority, that god's authority over the province. I'm pretty sure. I can double check, but you, you might be right. I don't know. Uh, gross and dirty, but not too blessed by grandfather. Yeah, I like the polished look, the polished, shiny, kind of like, you know, decorative look when you're looking at factions like Slanesh and Sinch, but uh, I think Corn and Nurgle should be a little bit more, more messy or dirty in the pocket. Skulls and stuff like that for Corn and a lot of blood. Blood on their armor all the time would be pretty a nice touch. Just stained, loads of dried blood all over them and stuff like that. That would be Pug. Did we get a, a horse with this guy yet? Nah, he's still footbound. What does he look like, though? Pretty Pog. Pretty nice. Very nurgling -y. The cape. Alright, dude. Our infantry is, is nutty right now. I'm gonna stick close, though. I was gonna say, like... Mm, yeah, fuck it, actually. We'll be fine. Exalted hero of Nurgle. We got double giants going off. We can fart on them now with the Billy's Thunder Guff. It is a unique model, by the way. It's a very Nurgle uh, oriented giant look. So this is a regular giant. Good, good way to compare. Regular giant, Nurgle giant. Somehow this one has even worse personal hygiene and has the ability to literally fart on people. And it has this big, big nasty ass Nurgle emblem on its back. Very cool. Very cool. Ugh. Man, brush your teeth, dude. Fuck. Hero of chaos. Um, right, let's get in there. If nothing else, Nurgle is a very easy faction to play. And he fell for it. Excited Idiots. that this game is finally in the DLC team's hands and is getting everything it deserves. My only complaint is I think the Blood DLC could look better. Love your content, BTW. Hey, thanks for the donut, Ju Justin Ramos. Uh, I, I I kind of agree. The the blood DLC could do a little rework. They, these little blood splotches, um, it's always just these little circles. Look, every single time, it's it's just little circles. I think it could do with just a little bit of polishing, but maybe that'll come. You know, like the blood DLC can get patches just like the base game can, right? Maybe we'll see some reworks to the to the blood. Worst case scenario, right? It'll get modded anyway. Like, almost everything that people dislike about Immortal Empires now can be fixed with mods. And, you know, we're almost at full release. And then uh, those mods will never become obsolete. And, you know, unless there there's uh, things are remedied in the base game. I think that's a big positive, is anything that you don't like can be modded. And then as long as that keeps getting patched, uh, updated with each patch, you'll be fine. It's like it, and that mod's gonna be invalid when you switch games. Adokoi, British giant? <laughs> <I do. laughs> Shut up! The leech lord provides. I happen to be British, you know. These insults will not stand. Ooh, okay, they're moving up. Yeah, I'm just gonna bait them out. Because once we're in, and we, we hold a pocket, we don't have to worry about towers as much. Hey, Dokoi, random question, but what settings do you run, and do you use reshade? I do not use a reshade for this game, although I do use ENVs for stuff like uh, Elden Ring. Um, the second an ENV popped up for Elden Ring, I downloaded it. I, uh, I'm a huge fan of running, running ENVs, especially for games that aren't very demanding, like Elden Ring, you know? For, for this game, it might hurt my PC's performance just a little bit. I am running a pretty powerful PC, but this game already looks pretty good, you know? Like, I'm never like, oh, that looks really, really ugly. A lot of the time, anyway. There's a couple of textures that could use some work, but what game doesn't have textures that could use some work? Cough, cough, Elden Ring. Come on, man! Kill, they're just a, unit, a couple of units of more on the hospital. Can you just kill him? That tower is giving us some guff. At least they don't have any artillery or range. I'm just gonna push the middle because the sooner we hold the middle the better Cap this this point no more terrors and okay, you're not British you said you dislike tea that means you're not British Okay, I guess I'm not honorary British. I was Exiled by the Queen for not liking tea 
famously. I received the letter in the mail because British people still only send ma uh, letters. We. Uh, that's not even a fucking joke. The UK government still sends letters out all the time because we have so many old people in this country. They they just don't even, even with how unreliable the postal service is, they're just like, yes, that's fine. This thousand year old method of, of letter transportation is totally uh, better than electro electronic emails that are just <laughs> more reliable in every way. Fuck me, all governments do? That's not just the UK? That shit, like, is, feels scuffed. Let that be rough. With fury and hatred! Oh, come on, let's literally shit on them. Let's go. Okay, I think a lot of people are gonna be are gonna be wigged out when you see that this actually has an animation. Because that's something I wasn't expecting. Check this out. <laughs> oh, wait! Wait, 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 wait. He fans it into his own nose. I just realized. What? Did anybody see that? I'm pretty sure he just fanned the smell into his own face. No fucking way. That is disgusting. Marauders of Nurgle. And I love it. Sweet. And there's no way that guy just fanned it into his own mouth. I can't even imagine something as Nurglish. Oh, God. It really feels like Nurgle, though, right? It is disgusting, I agree, but it is very Nurgle at the same time. It's like, what do you expect? You're gonna play Cone and then say it's revolting how many people they kill? Nah. Oh, shit. Hold on, we're getting, we're getting donked a little bit here. Festus, get out of there! Be careful, he has his AirPods in. Challenge me. Ooh, I forgot to put this guy <coughs> into a group. Man, these brothers with great weapons are giving us some trouble. Pestilent marauders! Go, 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 go! Stay every mortal! He shitted and farted, then took a big sniff. Pacific <laughs> Doom! What could be more nerdly? Shitting and farting? Shitting, pooping. Man, Nurgle, uh, Festus really got kind of fucked up there, huh? Oh shit, we're losing. What the fuck happened to our Marauders with great weapons? Oh, Berserkers, right? I was like, how the fuck are they losing? What the hell? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I do not want to lose them. Fuck. I, I didn't realize they had Marauders. Uh, Berserkers. That's not good for us. That's not good at all. Man, we're getting, they're counting us up just a little bit, huh? Oh, wait, Fart Part 2. The shit inning will commence. Here it comes. I'm gonna watch him sniff it this time. Oh, dude. <laughs> he, I was I was right. He fully like wafts that shit into his mouth. Oh, that is very funny. <laughs> gross, 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 and amazing. CA knew exactly what they were doing. Where are those Berserkers? Do they still have them? Marauders. There they are. Berserkers. Fuck them up. We're in no danger, though. Except maybe this giant. Let's get you out of there. Bilius. Bilius. Fought Huffer. No! Well, rip. Okay, we only lost a couple of Nurglings. Could be worse. Man, I wish I could see the uh, the region on this guy because he, I haven't even seen him vaguely lose any help. That might be a fun test. I'm pretty sure we could send in specifically like Festus and Milady and uh, Ragnar Longcock in, and I'm pretty sure they would. Absolutely clean house, and it wouldn't even be close. 
Okay, we're, we're, surely we're gonna get army losses pretty soon. How are they holding on? There we go. Easy clap. Brop. Yeah, damn, Nurglings, Nurglings are cracked though. I'm not a huge fan of demon units, I gotta say. In, like, retrospect, I think the fact that they just crumble and fully die once they get low means that you're gonna lose them in a fight where you would otherwise, you know, temporarily have them be at a little lower health. Like, I'd like these Marauders also got fucked up by Berserkers, but they didn't just delete themselves. Ooh, gift the vessel. How about you eat my ass? Wait, did I not get a vessel? Oh, that sucks. Ragnar Longcock got a, uh... Nice. What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? Give me regen. Come on. Regen? Oh, no, wait. We can... Okay, here we go. Ta -da. Hey, and we got the other model. So this model, he has a horn coming out of his face. So I don't know how he can see, because literally he has a spike coming out of his face. Oh, okay. I'm going to combine these. Crowd of Command! Fuck! Dude, I... Oh, my God. I hate the Crown of Command. Name, name a more useless item in the entire game than the Crown of Command. 30 seconds of fucking... Uh, like, unbreakable. Wait. A 90 second cooldown? Oh, wait. Affects al Yeah. Affects a single ally in a 100 meter range for 30 seconds and makes them unbreakable. How? When will you ever use this for anything even remotely valuable? Get it out of my video game, please. I hate it. Yes! The Pigeon Plucker Pendant. No, that's a passive. That's a passive First live to flying units. Didn't realize Doomstack meme videos had a physical effect on the body. More you know. Are you trying to- what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? On my webcam, huh? What are you trying to say, dude? Say it to my face! <laughs> Thank you for the dono, my dude. Oh wait, we've already got training. Useless. Ah, oh, we're back to- dude, fuck. Okay, well now we don't have a, a horse for this guy. Give me back my power stones, man. Hey, okay, here we go. So, Sage of Contagion. Infection cost minus 25%, and we get the casualty post-battle replenishment rate. And we can get into this. So another 25% battle healing cap increase. And we get cast of fleshly uh, abundance. Uh, upgraded. So, yeah. Magic. Uh, winds of magic cost. And winds of magic. Uh, winds of magic cost for overcast and the original version. So we just need to get up there. And then we got insane healing. But in the meantime. An extra mi minus 5 uh, melee attack debuff would be great. Immunity to contact effects could be minorly useful. 5%. Actually, you know what? I might get bad side matter because 10 diplomatic relations with Warriors of Chaos, Demons of Chaos, Beastmen, and Oscar would be huge right now. No, okay. The healing cap is too Life good is to turn down. Exactly. Hey, okay. Aspiring champions. And a couple of units of Marauder Horsemen would be huge. So I'm going to combine the dogs because the dogs don't have any, any weight anyway. Good shit. Wait, can we not afford him? Can I not afford him? Oh, no, no, we, no, we got him, we got him, we got him. Aspiring Champions. I wish Aspiring Champions could be upgraded into Nurgle, Korn, Sinch, or Slaneshi. Aspiring Champions, that would have been a nice little touch. Because that would have been a real goal. 19, um... Because that would immediately might be my go-to. Shit tons of Aspiring Champions of Nurgle mixed with some Exalted Heroes of Nurgle and then Festus would be an amazingly oh, cool army. So 400. Alright, so we just got to deal with the rest of these guys. Hopefully we can uh, vassalize them once we've taken the rest of the territory. And in the meantime... Hey! A hey okay, so... I played a little bit of... um. What's his name? Uh, Zhao Ming yesterday. Actually, a very fun campaign. I was I had I was allied with a shit ton of um, ogre kingdoms. Had a bunch of trade agreements with a bunch of ogre kingdoms factions, and I was sending some uh, very long caravan car uh, convoys to the far left of the map. It's a it's a much more interesting campaign for them now. Not that Cathay had an unfun campaign. I would say they're one of the best realms of chaos campaigns. If you can say that. <laughs> um, at Okoy, how many of the uh oh stinky monkey edits for Warhammer do you have? Um, damn, we're getting up there now. Wait, somebody. <laughs> 
what is this? Hold on, somebody submitted a new one. Somebody submitted a new one. What is this? Why he's got a cigar? Is it a tongue or a cigar? What is that? What is this? Is that his tongue? That's so gross. All right, this is a Festus themed one we can use for the rest of this stream. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Y'all are nuts with these. That's his tongue. What's Bukake? I'm gonna ask my mom. Don't, dude, don't. No, don't. Fuck. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, god damn it. Fucking Nordland. Big victory. That's what I'm talking about. And they're dead. <laughs> and we get a bunch of souls and Nordland are destroyed. Awesome. Amazing. Actually, we might be able to do some diplomacy now, though, because we're much closer to the uh, realms of chaos. Okay, so there we go. Military access with the Black Pit tribe. Bam. Wait. And... A defensive alliance. There we go. Fuck yeah. So we're defensive allies with the uh, the black greenskins now, which is great because that means that I can build an outpost, I think. Oh, you're so fucked. Woo! Low casualties. I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take the replenish. Ooh, dude, 500 souls is a lot though. Nope, we need it. Especially considering we're in enemy territory now. That being said, Festus, if you get far enough down Festus's tree, you can replenish in enemy territory, which is a huge... There it is, wait. Enables replenishment in foreign territory, 500. Answer spreading plagues. Bam. And also we'll take an, a, a buff from Marauder units. So plus 8 melee attack from Marauder units, 25% experience from Marauders. So soon we'll be able to get them up into Chaos War... Ah, right. Speaking of the devil... More Chaos Warriors... That's just, I think, has... Is, oh, nice. And some Marauder Horsemen of Nurgle with throwing axes. Again, a lot of armor piercing at your disposal with Nurgle. And on top of the uh, the poison, uh, makes them a very good skirmishing unit to slow down any, uh, enemy, you know, skirmish troops that will be able to attack you. Very good, very good. An apple a day. An apple a day. Although, although... No, we want to get these. These are way better. Let's get more diplomatic relations with and casualty replenishment. That's what I mean. Ner I, I feel like Nurgle definitely underrated. Definitely underrated. We get anything else? No, 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 no. Trolls, though. Yeah, you know what? Dogs are overrated. Trolls are better. We do some trolling. More money. Garrison. Uh, it's all going. It's all coming up Millhouse, guys. We'll get some more plagues. Shit, did I. Wait, who, what did I just put plagues on? Did I just put plagues on my settlement? I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I, I forgot you could do that. I forgot you could infect a settlement with a plague manually. Whoops. All right. And okay, we're all with poison are an insane upgrade over regular ones. Exactly right. And also uh, reducing the melee attack because it, it makes it means that. Uh, uh, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh! I thought that was gonna be negative. It's almost always negative. I'll take an ally agreement with you, Wolfric. And okay, I feel like Nurgle warriors have chosen are almost a direct upgrade over the demons of Nurgle faction. Yeah. Uh. That's what I mean. Nurgle in general is a lot more fun to play now. They just, they're just better. We, we, wait, do we get the research upgrade for our uh, provincial edicts? No, we don't. Okay, that's a pretty huge thing for Siege. Being able to get 10% uh, research rate with every single one of your provinces is a massive buff. Because it looks like Sirtha Ak. Hey, it's fucking Chariot Boy! He's on his Marauder Chariot as usual. Somebody needs to make, um, they need to make Sirtha Ek into a legendary lord who gives insane bonuses to, um, uh oh, no. uh oh, Boris is coming back. This is my land. Wait, does it ha okay. Can I build an outpost? Oh, I need 3,000 to build an outpost. Okay, we were definitely going to do that, though, because I, I love, I love some, uh, artillery. 
Easy clap. Easy lap. Definitely um, Armor Piercing for Aspiring Champions. They need all the damage that they can get. Gift to Vassal. Here we go. Yes. So you do not... This is the, one of the coolest things. You do not need minor settlements. So I don't even know where the Nilf Godlings are. Wait, where are they? Headbutting contest. Okay, well, first of all, trade agreement. Okay. Fine. I didn't even know we had a Vassal. Where are the Nilf Godlings even located? They even own any armies? No, because the strength rank 224. Because they don't have contest. any armies. <laughs> uh, can I give them anything? No, just the altar of Crimson Harvest. So, you don't need minor settlements. But wait, at Okoy, at Okoy, at Okoy, Og Okoy. That was extremely confusing to read. Please don't give me a stroke on my live stream. Speak. Vog, non aggression pack. I will take it. And a trade agreement. Kill. And military access. Oh, uh, pogging out of my of mind right now. This is what we want. We need allies. It's it's this rough session. playing Nurgle without these in your back pocket. Oh, Catch your flinching rate, standard die, definitely melee stuff. Dude, two melee exalted heroes of Nurgle. Oh, Kai Gas. Okay, we need to uh, rename this guy. What do you think? Uh, maybe number number five. How the what? Here we go. Discord. Admin. Yes? Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't know, man. An apple a day. We want to get Gardener of Nurgle because minus 15 speed to enemy armies in the local province is nuts. Because if you think about minus 15% speed uh, to all armies in the local province, when you get into game, that's a significant decrease. But then on top of that, the fact that every single unit that you have pretty much inflicts poison which is another 15% uh, negative so that means if you have a full army of marauders of marauder horsemen of nurgle or even just a couple of them throwing poison weapons and enemies that's a that's 30% slower everything range troops cavalry everything it means that they're barely going to be moving at a crawl which is huge okay we own that entire province all right i think next we should go and attack the Nords. Oh no, Oslin, Oslin, Oslin. Attack Oslin, take Pack Ice Bay, then go to Oslin. If uh, Sertha Ek doesn't claim the Pack Ice Bay before we get there. Oh, Tier 3 Province. It's all coming up Festus House. Nikocado Avocado. <laughs> Maybe. I want something a little more Nurgle themed and not just mean. <laughs> Who guessed the Ark Father? What? Burger hey, King foot lettuce? Of of God damn it. Wait, join the war against Marion Burger. 1400? That's actually not bad and I will do that. There's no Fuck it. Here. No! I'm not even going to call my allies to help because they're. Oh no, they're already at war with them. Yeah, okay. Right, fine. That's bad, because the, the Wood Elves are genuinely pretty threatening. We'd struggle to defend our... Uh, nice, nice, nice. Plagues, nice. We'd struggle to defend our shit. There we go. Now we're getting some vassal stuff. Lamont Dahl. Okay, I say we beeline to Peck... To, to Peck Ice Bay. It's about an equal distance. Damn it. It's equal distance. Two or three turns. We're good. We're good. Level up our provinces. I know. Dude, we're going to get F'd in the A from one of these perspective. I just know it. How, how's our point? Two more turns. We infect Middenheim manually. We have so many plays, dude. Yes. We're all plagued up. Nothing for us. We don't have 3k to build an outpost yet. I don't have enough money to be building a second army, really. Wait. Nice. More Chaos Warriors. Chaos Warriors for the Nurgle God. Also, Chaos Knights of Nurgle with lances are some of the coolest. Like, like essentially, it's a reskin, but they look, they look so cool, dude. Poop and farting. Edokoi, can you name a champion Saturday Night Fever? I'm pretty happy with number one Discord admin, but... 
Aggressor, Reichland, Defender, the Black Pit Tribe. God damn. We're going to get pulled into a lot of fights, but it's worth it. Great face cam. Dude, thank you. Thank you. These are new glasses. Oh, he's got a little sword. I just noticed. That's adorable. Your flesh is clearly young. 2000 for a feast treaty? I'm almost considering it, but no, because I want to vassalize them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! I could have got a free 2000! Fuck! God fucking damn it! Dude, that fucking sucks. Wow, what a kick in the balls. All right, well, let's get back and kill the uh, wood elves, I guess. Stay on route. That fucking sucks. That's what I get for not being greedy. You know what? That's what I get for not g going immediately for money. That's my fault. That's what I get. Okay, so it looks like the uh, the greenskins are in trouble. I'm not very possible. worried. The Wood Elves are about to take over the Black Pit. We can take over Laurel and Forest. It's a suitable climate. Single province settlements are not great when they're on Mido settlement, so maybe it would be in our best interest to give Laurel and Forest to the Greenskins so they've got a double province. That probably would be great, because I don't think we're going to be able to vassalize the Wood Elves. Something tells me that's not Strike in our cards. Strike business. West, enter then. Damn, all right. Well, we missed out on vassalizing the, sca <laughs> the scaling. It's not... We're not going to get an outpost built in time. So maybe we should just build it at Wrecker's Point. Either they're not gonna be- we'll, we'll, we'll wait on it, it'll be fine. We'll build it in the uh, Wood F region when we maybe give it to them. Lamau, get Wreck Noob. How dare you. At Okoi, I'm pretty sure one of your plays gives minus 15% speed to enemies. You can stack those speed debuffs high. Dude, uh, that's actually a good point, I'll check that. Because that would be insane. That would be, that would be pretty insane. Minus 45% speed for every army that we're fighting. Can you imagine how slow they would be? It, it would completely offset the fact that we're, you know, we're nurgled, nur we're nurgled up. Let me see if it's there. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Minus 40%. Minus 40% armor is huge. Maybe it's in one of these. Casualty replenishment rate, leadership, vigor in battle, tired, battle healing cap, minus 50%, attrition. Oh, there it is. So minus 10% speed for infantry units. So yeah, it is there. So what? That's 40%? If we get the 15% plus the 15% plus the 40%. The Black Pit Tribe has... Futile. Oh, man. All right. Well, let's infect ourselves with that. Why not? We, got, we, we have debuffs out the ass. Definitely that. There we go. If we can somehow manage to infect them with the plague, we'll be sitting pretty. We're gonna have to manually give that settlement to them, but other than that, we're pretty good. Are there any black f key, uh, any dark fortresses we can take? There's one there, there's one. Doomkeep will be good. Tower of Crack is owned by Azazel. Can we do anything with Azazel, or have we not discovered him? We have not discovered him. I don't know, does AI speed really matter when they, when they just camp and wait for you to attack them 90% of the time, though? I think it's in battle speed, my guy. <laughs> I mean, unless that's what you mean. Like, I guess, but they are going to be moving around. My, my, I think the benefit is more the fact so enemy range troops running away so that they can shoot your giants and shit like that. If they're 45% slower or 40% slower, that's huge, dude. Because one of Nurgle's issues is being able to chase down ranged uh, troops and just troops that are generally faster. Uh, but if they're 45% slower, that's going to put them from, say, 28% speed down to, like, 23, 24 speed, you know? Or 20, 25 speed. So that's going to put them underneath the Nurgle troops, which is huge. That's huge for us. As the stinky Nurgle boys, that's massive. <coughs> okay, the Lorlon Lorn General's name means miserable one in Dutch law. Let me check that. Uh, plus two control, five leadership, overpowering force, tribute from vassals. We don't have enough vassals for that to be worth it. Wait, 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 we spread a plague. No, we didn't. Set up, no, yeah, settlement receives plague. Dude, we're plagued up. Look how many of our provinces have plague. That's huge for us. Uh-oh. Oh, man. 
Certainly not. We're fine. We're good. We're good. Oh, wait. We got some items. Obsidian Trinket and Dawnstone. These are actually probably better if we don't combine them. I swear to fuck, if I combine these and we get something bad, I'm going to be pissed. Obsidian Lodestone. That's not great, though. I'm going to combine these. Got a blue item. Fuck it. Executioner's X. That's good. <laughs> that's not the best item. But that's not terrible. Armor Sundering's pretty huge. That's good. That's good. Considering the armor piercing that we've already got, that's not bad. Thick skinned. It's huge for us. All right, let's take Laurel. Hello, Koi. How have you enabled endgame crises in the game? And, and if yes, when? From anywhere between 10 and 35 turns in. We're gonna see a massive endgame thing happen. So it's gonna happen on this stream. It, it is just is gonna happen. Okay, wow, 2,000. I might raise it. No, 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 no. It's more valuable if we get it to an ally. All right, I'm not going to build this. I'm going to set foot out of the settlement. Let's see if we can give it... Oh! What did I just do? Oh, I just saved one of my characters. Whoops. Hey, okay, Dark Diplomacy. So this is pretty huge for us. So, diplomatic relations plus 15% with Skaven, Norska, Beastmen, and blah, blah, blah. For each gift of chaos undivided. So when we get further down the research tree, that could be up there in the, in the 30 to 45 range. Which is pretty huge. Allegiance points, 25 game for allegiances with um, Skaven, Beastman, and Norska. I don't know why Skaven. I guess Skaven are chaos adjacent. So that's why. So we want hideous amputation. Plus three weapon strength per experience rank for all great weapon units. Can you imagine triple gold rank uh, Nurgle chosen with plus 3% weapon strength for every rank? So that's, what, three times nine? Somebody who's good at math do that. <laughs> I failed math in school, dude. I'm a fucking YouTuber. I'm not good at maths. Nobody make fun of me or you're bad. It's three times nine. Somebody do that. I'm, I'm, I don't get paid for... That's 20... Like 80 people. Dude, you fucking retard. It's 27%. 27% higher weapon strength is pretty huge, though. That's good. All right. Let's see if we can give... Fine. I never claimed to be good at math. Scary, so we're gonna listen. Oh. Oh, no, no, we can give them Laurel and Forest. There it is. All right. And a military alliance. And a thousand. Dude, huge, huge. There we go. This is part of the uh, the charm of this faction. For allies, you can... Like, look at these guys. They fucking love us. Improving up to 126 in the positives. Huge for us. And now that they own Laurel and Forest... We can construct an outpost there to help defend it. And that'll also let us uh, recruit... Uh, some greenskins units as soon as they start recruiting in Lauren, you know building in Lauren Lone forest but it's a, uh, a a an isolated province so hopefully we'll get some good stuff eventually it's big brain time also our replenishment in allied territory is just as high as in uh our own territory huge i almost declared war on the greenskins but we're doing well all right uh we got a fuck tons of infections can we infect allied territories or enemy armies no we can't damn that's absolutely not bussin how far down the uh their research tree are we damn we still don't own a horrifying presence that's fine but nurgly damn yes unit experience gained 15 percent for all nurgle units see that's not better than being able to replenish in foreign territory although yeah, you know what? I am going to do that. Simply for the 15% uh, experience gain. Because 20% um, missile resistance is pretty huge. But 15% increase to unit experience game is massive. That's going to be so huge for us. Think about how many uh, Marauders, like uh, Chaos Warriors, we're going to get. And potentially chosen at an accelerated rate. Aspiring Champions, I'm not a huge fan of with this faction, though. They're more of an undivided faction unit. Because we, although, I think we can get buffs for them down here. Or, wait, where is it? Uh, perfect Vigor for Aspiring Champions. Uh, and there's something nurgly around for them that you can get. But it's not as good as Undivided Factions. Undivided Factions can make... Can give serious buffs to Aspiring Champions. That's definitely going to be an army that I that I work on for sure. Okay, don't forget to equip the Sword of Antiheres on someone. <laughs> it's already equipped, you douche. <laughs> 
It's not, this is not becoming a Terrors 2 scenario. Adoka, you say the word huge a lot. Are you compensating for something? You mean like my tiny penis? No. I own my tiny penis, dude. <laughs> oh, can no play makes best as a dull doctor. Hey, dude, this guy with his voice acting. It's adorable. As far as I remember, his, uh, dude, the amount of plagues right now is insane. Unwise. Get fucked. It's wood elf killing time. Let's go. Woo! Low casualties. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> The death animation for him just flying backwards like six feet. All right, replenishment we do not need. Souls and favor is pretty huge. That's a lot of infections and XP. You know what? We don't need souls and true favor that much. So I'm going to take the, the um, experience. Although 100 XP is pretty dog shit. Trickster star. I hate to see it. Pretty mediocre. Oh shit, the Sword of Heroes is actually not equipped to anybody. What happened? What happened, dude? Did I unequip it? Fuck. When did that happen? Oops. <laughs> Nobody talk about this. I actually unequipped it. Um, Adokoi, I think I saw you got the Vampire Ascension Endgame scenario. You've got nine turns left, I think. Oh, yeah, I probably missed that. I should- oh, fuck it. I'll equip the Chrono Command too. So bad. It's so bad. All right, clinical hygiene. That's a weird name for a Nurgle effect, but I'm there for it. Also, here's the thing. Do we go for a disease barrier? We pick up lightning strike, post battle loot. Post battle loot, disease barrier, then I'll start on the blue and red trees because we've got his four unique things now. Immunity to contact effects, which is going to be huge. I'm pretty sure if you can inflict poison, does that make you immune to being inflicted, having poison inflicted on you? I don't actually know. I'm going to assume so. Get that 50 training. Oh shit. Okay, what do we go for here? Melee defense. Um, fuck. As toxic trooper. And man, we're in the pocket. We're stacked out with these guys now. Wait. Oh, double silver. Oh, we're getting close to our first chosen unit. Wait, what? Not available for this selected unit? Wait, what? Eh? Oh, do we have to unlock it first? No, we have it. Wait a minute. What? Yeah. Oh, what? Those are regular Chaos Warriors. Fuck, they're not chosen. Oh, shit. They're not Nurgle Chaos, uh, Chaos Warriors. Did I just forget to change them? Oh, fuck. If I change them, they're going to lose all their XP. You know what? It's fine. I'll just make them into regular Chosen, and then we'll turn them into Nurgle Chosen. It's fine. They're undivided. Yeah, it's fine. One more, like two more levels up, we'll make them into some Chosen with Grey Weapons, and then we'll make them into some Nurgle Chosen with Grey Weapons. It's all good. Oh, shit. We can get another unit of Aspiring Champions. I'm happy. I'm pretty happy with this army. Once we have uh, our uh, Marauder Horseman up as well, all right, let's take Wiseman. Oh shit, it's, uh, it's fucking Emperor Call Franz. Oh fuck. All right, Wiseman, then back over to Altdorf. More money buildings, come on. All right, maybe we can afford to recruit another uh, army now as well. Now we're good. All right, I will be right back, so I'm gonna grab a drink. Give me one second. Oops. <laughs> I almost fucked this up. There we go. All these, all these haters mad because I'm finally in my bag. Flexing all on purpose. And all my bitches bad. I'm running up a check. Counting commas in my jack. Throwing all these packs. I don't have a check to tag. All these, all these haters mad because I'm finally in my bag. Flexing all on purpose. And all my bitches bad. I'm running up a check. Counting commas in my jack. All right, we back. 
Okay, <laughs> I'm a little worried that um that Emperor Calvaron is about to go on a Greenskin's uh, murder spree. Oh, wait. Ah oh, man, one more turn. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this army, so I tell you what. It's probably, it would probably be a good idea if we, wait, is that another one? Wait a minute, cultist camp of, hang on a minute. Our ammunition is a 15. If we have, uh, if we build one, hold on, I'm going to build that. We're going to demolish this because we don't need it there, first of all. But then a warband camp. Oh, no, we need it because this might get attacked by Wolfenberg. Same with Salisman. Oh, no, our garrison is such dog shit. I tell you what, I'm gonna recruit another army. What do you guys think? Chaos Sorcerer Lord? <laughs> Lord of Metal, Death, Fire, or Shadows? Nurgle's Rod. Path Path to Glory, minus 25% souls cost to devote to Nurgle. Oh, dude, fucking definitely this guy. Right? Lord of Metal with Nurgle's Rod? That feels like a, a foregone conclusion. Never mind. Because that's we're, we're gonna send this guy to Chaos, like, right out of the gate. Devote to Nurgle. And it's only gonna cost us 2200 Instead of, wait, that's that's more. That's more. That's more than two thousand. That usually cost. Wait, what? Wait, souls cost to devote to Nurgle. Devote to Nurgle. Okay, maybe this it costs three thousand, and I'm just having a stroke. And okay, lore wise, Horned Rat is a chaos god. So it makes sense that you can parlay with Skaven. Well, yeah, everything was created by chaos, right? Apparently, the ogre kingdoms were created by chaos. Oh, no, 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 no. They were created to fight chaos as an uncorruptible uh, race of people. Yeah, I remember. Damn. That's nutty. What can we recruit? Aspiring champions? Now? Uh, no regiments of renowned. Nada. De nada. All right. We'll start trickling in some funny Nurgle units. And, ooh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Actually, you know, I don't know what I'm worried about because... Our, even with, like, our regen will be able to top our units off anyway. Dude, the amount of plagues happening in this region is insane. Can we inflict... Nah, damn. I guess if you could just manually inflict plague on your enemy settlements, that would be OP as fuck. Adokoi, name the Lord Jarens. Eat shit! <laughs> Somebody come up with a good name for the Chaos Lord, though. Somebody give me a good Nurgle. What's a good name for a Nurgle Lord of, of uh, chosen Nurgle Lord of Chaos or whatever? Vomit? Blood and Toil. Chaos construction costs minus 15, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, I'd rather have this. Vas va I don't know what vassals gain a province development point. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, the like a fucking, old. like a growth point. Right, no, that's awesome. Because then they can upgrade their settlement and we can get better units. Or they can get better units and actually do something and attack some people. Morbius? Morbus. Stinky McPoop. Monkey pox. Jesus Christ. And okay, can you recruit Chaos Sorcerers as heroes as the new Chaos uh, Champions? Um, no, not if you're unless... Okay, so Festus can only recruit Nurgle-related ones. Valkyrie can, is the only person that can recruit corn related ones. Um, but if you're playing any of the model gods, so like, for example, um, Scarbrand can recruit Exalted Heroes of Corn alongside, uh, you know, uh, whatever they're called. And also he can uh, uh, recruit exalted um, corn uh, heroes, as uh, exalted corn lords right out of the gate with no, um, you know, base corn, base chaos warriors one that upgrade to them. But um, they can't recruit other ones. So I wouldn't be able to, you know, as Bestus be able to recruit an exalted champion of Sonesh, for example. I just, I can't do that, but I can devote anything to Nurgle, obviously. I'm just gonna go wallbang camp. Wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, yeah wallbang camp. Fuck it. The Let's wipe out this stinky man. Fucking Boris. What does he sound like? <laughs> Sounds like a horse. Weird. Dark Sounds way different than I thought we he would. The fates. Okay, we're not doing great money-wise, actually. I realized that, uh, although it's not a lot, the, uh, our army recruitment, uh, our upkeep going up by that 3% or whatever is pretty harmful. 
I do not miss the uh, massive amounts of uh, recruitment pe of upkeep penalties you got for having more than one army, though. Hey! All right, we're definitely getting some goblins. Goblin archers, that's fucking adorable. That's great. Is he building in there? Okay, that sucks. Maybe I picked the wrong settlement. He's not exactly prioritizing building in there. Gary Gonorrhea, bringer of Todd. E Ema Royd. Vomit time. Oh god, loathsome dung eater. That's pretty good. It is corrupt. He kind of looks like him too, sort of. Plus you get a nice Elden Ring reference in there. It fits him. Yes! He looks like a man who eats dung. Captain plus center for the Nurgle Sorcerer. <laughs> private... What about Private Placenta? Physician. Oh, we'll call the Chaos Giant Private Presenter. Why not? Why not? Alright. What's the move here? Oh, double silver. There we go. More champion. No! We don't have any money! Eat my whole fucking gaping foot. Um. Hey, yo, you know what? We're pretty close. Ah, goddamn. We're so close, though. I'm gonna go and camp. Yeah, if they attack us, we get better melee defense. Although, I think if they attack us, it's not really gonna matter. Thank you for the $20 donor, Leon. Uh, Leon. I think I prefer Loathsome Dung Eater, but private. <laughs> Gift and Placenta. I Corona. The funny feces feaster. That's just an elaborate way of saying the dung of Lonesome Dung Eater. And also, you added funny. <laughs> I foresee uh, dude, I I really like the system for recruiting va uh, vassal units. Definitely aspiring champions. Now that is huge. So I think Chaos Sorcerers get a benefit to um, aspiring champions. Don't quote me on this. I think they get... No, 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 never mind. It was like an item that I got that gave them a benefit. Yeah, so attrib attribute uh, perfect vigor for Forsaken. Uh, Paragon of Ruin, Lord's Army. <sighs> Maybe we should just go for like shit tons of Forsaken with this guy. Up buy and like upgrade all of our Marauders into Forsaken because then they'll have perfect vigor. And they'll be great at tearing through Empire and, and Kislev because we don't have to worry about a lot of heavy armor. The four token. Forsaken Doomstick. Dominate. Yes, yes. I'm not worried. If they attack me, I think I'll win. Even you with this tiny move. garrison in Sal's Talisman, what? with this, with the Exalted Champions, I think we'll be able to hold off. We just need more goblins, man. Also, I'm gonna infect the shit out of this guy. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Summon unit of plague? Oh, dude, yes, definitely that. <laughs> Holy shit, yes. Speed for those. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. That's, that's a, uh... Wait, what's this? Physical resistance 20%. Left click to add the base plague and symptoms. Wait. Eh? How does that work? Oh, it just automatically. Oh, I see. Okay, so limb blight, constant vomiting. Constant vomiting, limb blight, uh, festus rot. And then you get 20% physical resistance for the army that you put it on. That's pretty fucking good. Growth 50, casualty replenishment rate. Yeah, 20% physical resistance for the entire army. That's nuts. And then on top of that, we're getting minus the negative speed and summonable plague bearers. Fuck yeah. So that charge. we get that army ability? Summon from beyond. Uses two summonable plague bearers. That's awesome. Man, what a resourceful faction. CEO of Fox. <laughs> okay, I kind of like that name. Alright, let's get in there. Nordland is dead. Fuck! No! Our orcs! Damn, the Empire is going hard on these green skins. Fucking hell. Okay, we may have to play this fight. It's not a siege, so we gotta, we gotta be worried about towers, but I don't like this close victory bullshit. Ah, uh, but maybe an auto, though. Me I don't like medium casualties, but fuck it. Oh, okay, I should have played that. Oh my god. Are you kidding me with those casualties? That's not- how is that medium, man? How is this medium casualties? That is severe casualties. Alright, disease bearer, there we go. 
Slightly more XP when you auto resolve from my experience though. Definitely missile resists. Oh fuck, actually. Fine, we're, we're in too deep. Hey, all right, more chaos warriors. Let's fucking go. Uh, God, we're so close. Having full, a full chaos warrior rump. Armored trolls. Nice. Full armor troll rush. Awesome. Doctor. Holy shit. Okay, well, oh. oh my god. What happened? So Emperor Carl Franz is up here and with two how, how many full armies? Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're gonna get attacked by this guy. That's an easy auto resolve and then they're dead, but they might actually fuck up the um Fuck up our, our green skin homies up here. I do, I do not like the sound of this. <laughs> shit and fart. Thanks for the dono, Urex King. You, 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 yeah. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the dono. <laughs> okay, architect of farts, just as uh, Siege intended. Eh, it's not as nurgly. CEO of farts sounds a little bit more executive, you know? Okay, Darth Plagueis for the next character. That's a good Which name for. A, that's actually pretty good for for a plague faction of plague based faction. That's pretty good. Uh, growth. Oh, we own this entire province. Definitely Nurgle corruption. Oh wait, we're already. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're we're already at a hundred percent Nurgle corruption. Plague duration a hundred percent. Definitely, and we get increased growth. So the more we get these plagues around, the better. Yeah. All right. Our replenishment is absolutely cracked. Okay, I'm a little worried. Please defend your black pit, man. Not a bad garrison. And it's mid-upgrade, but he's about to get rushed by an entire banner and a half. I'm a little worried for our little goblin buddy here. And I quite Lord Fart Quad. <laughs> yes. What's that accent? Boston? Boston? <laughs> no. Whoa. All right, well, we're definitely gonna have to. I'm not suffering medium casualties from this. That is not happening. What the fuck? God, the auto resolve really does not value Nurgle troops very highly. I would be shocked if we took any casualties in this fight at all. And it's predicting some serious casualties. Boston. Dude, I'm from, uh, I'm from the UK. Boston. Okay, wait, how do you, how do you do a Boston accent? What's it? Is that the hammer you in a heart with a haymaker thing? Is that a uh, Fallout 4 is in Boston, right? Is it Boston? I'm pretty sure it's in Boston. I can I don't remember. Boston. <laughs> Dude, I wish I was better at accents. I can't do Boston. I can do others. I can do like Scottish. I can do uh, UK accents pretty good, like Scousers, Northern accents, because I'm from the North. I'm not good at American accents though, except like a broad one that I picked up. <laughs> Harvard. Harvard. No way he's from the UK. I am from the UK. I, I genuinely am. I am from a place near Manchester. I promise you I am. Alright, we're not gonna need to do a whole lot of prep for this fight. Dude, oh, oh these shitty little garrisons. I am gonna send all of these guys out in a little vanguard just to fight. I just want to see the, this little army try and fight them. The tetanus terror since he is a lore of metal. Tetanus terror. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yo, I'm from Manny. Where? Washington? Nope, Lamel. I swear to fuck. I'm, I'm, that's just where I grew up, man. IMO British accents are the worst ones. <laughs> that's uh, mean. I will say I'm not a fan of the, the North ex like accents in the North of England, but that's because I grew up there. I got sick of hearing that shit. People like it makes you sound so stupid too. Like I don't even want to hear it. If you have a, an accent from Leeds, like Google what a Leeds accent sounds like or a Bradford accent. That shit makes you sound like you have some, like learning deficiencies. I swear to fuck. It's just a silly ass accent. I grew up there. I'm allowed to say that I'm from Leeds. I'm allowed to say this shit. 
He said, you sound silly, man. You just do. Glorious putrefaction. All right, here we go. Fuck. Name your demand. For the chaos gods. Ugh, leads. <laughs> like, you gave people in chat like, ugh, fucking leads people. <laughs> fucking gross. If you don't understand what that means from a UK, a US perspective, they're basically talking like Charge! saying like Lead people from Louisiana or like Mississippi Chaos or some shit. Yorkshire accents is, is the best. Dude, fuck that. I grew up around Yorkshire accents. Everybody sounds like they fucking suck on tweed and eat like drink fucking tea 24 hours a day. Go to carberries and shit. Fuck that. Quick! They're not doing bad. Go, little Vanguard. Go! Go, cool Chaos Warriors. Oh my god! My man! Come on, Chaos Warriors. You got this. Dude, they're actually. They've killed like, <laughs> like a bunch out of this unit of swordsmen already. Oh, we should be regening. I just realized. I don't think we can, we can regen past the cap of the Evo when your army started. Yeah, see. Oh no. No, our shit's regening. What? Of decay. No, see, we hit a cap. We hit our cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna regen. That would be OP. If you could just start like start with a fucked army as an excuse to regen. I don't quite. Sorry, you're you're from Leeds. That that's like my least favorite disability. <laughs> Did I miss a dono? By the way, hold on. The tetanus shower since he's lower meta. Yeah, thanks for the dono, Nick. Um, Nick McCartney. That's a good name. That's a good name. I'll, I should name him that until he becomes a Nurgle guy. Then we'll rename him. Chaos comes. Ew. Chaos comes. What the fuck was that? Is that a mage? I'll tell you what. We'll send our, our vanguard department out. And absolutely fuck up this huntsman general. Out of my way. Covering ground, going forth. Oh, he has a chariot. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, I didn't realize he, I put him on a chariot. Whoops. Chariots are not good for, for singular lords, in my opinion. You definitely want to be when we push in. Um, you definitely want to be sticking with the horses. That would be my recommendation. Don't bother with the chariots. They're definitely the worst out of the, uh, out of the, out of the uh, options. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Exalted hero of Nurgle. Oh, this man's about to get fucked up. Oh, what the fuck was that? I was, is that his oil ability? Oh my god. This man is bleeding already. I'll tell you what, we'll send this guy into the back of the infantry. Our, uh, our, our cavalry fella is more than enough to crump this man. You know what I forgot to build, guys? It starts with a T, and it ends with me getting made fun of. But fuck it. I'm gonna go with barricades instead. Plague and pestilence! Glorious brutality! The plague lord's rough! Good stuff. Oh, there go. Oh, he's absolutely butchering him. Dude! <laughs> oh, big hits out here. Oh, fuck. Get on him, trolls. Don't you? You're in skirmish mode? Come on. Damn. Oh, wait. Okay, I don't know if that damages friendly troops. I'm not gonna bother, but... This guy's about to get fucked up. I swear Festus has better teeth than most yeah. Brits. <laughs> Shut up! It, it, okay, British people actually have uh, pretty oh, okay Jesus. teeth. It's just like old dudes. Glorious. Old British guys don't give a fuck. I think it's just, it's... I think the meme comes from like... Oh my god! I think it just comes from... Um, People, it's not it's just not as much of a priority like if you don't have perfect teeth in the US you're disgusting You're like a total disgusting piece of shit. If you don't have normal teeth in the UK, you're usually a teacher 
rebellious brothers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, that was such a bad joke. I was so mean to teachers for no reason. Every teacher that I had, I swear to fuck, had gross ass teeth. Like all my my memories of like every substitute teacher had a mouth like a like a donkey's ass. Exalted hero of Nurgle. This Nurgle's call. I don't know what it is. What's what's with that? Is that like Take in every country? Action. Substitute teachers just always smelled weird. Doctor. I, mean, I just went to a terrible ass school. I think <laughs> every school that I went to sucked ass. It was, I, I went to very, very poor, poor schools. Really bad. Uh, they can never afford anything. Oh, fuck my trolls. Shit. Okay, I think my trolls got fucked up by ranged. Damn. I forgot we were pretty low on replenishment, actually. UK, um, you smelling them? Dude, okay. I The best story that I have for um, substitute teachers is, uh, is a music teacher I had who had a lazy eye. But he also brought a trumpet and then we had him for maths once he was also he, he substituted for maths and he came in and he still had the trumpet and as he played the trumpet his lazy eye would f would like float off to the side of his vision and start like looking into the distance so the harder he blew and the harder he played his little trumpet the, the more his lazy eye would drift he was like the best teacher we had I swear, did your lead Saxon disappear over time? <laughs> yes. So I spent like um I spent the like the last twenty years playing video games on my my computer and just being like as soon as the internet was a thing and I discovered it, I uh, I've done nothing but be on the internet playing video games, watching uh I don't know movies. Just everything online, and slowly my accent faded away as I just didn't go outside ever. <laughs> Alright, army replenishment. God, fuck. Yeah, definitely. Are they not dead? Yo, what? How are they not dead? It did, it did. If you don't like your accent, it'll leave you, right? Festus Plus be I like, love me plagues, love me grandfather, simple <laughs> as. Uh... Good shit. Thank you for the donos, guys. Simple as. Buildings damaged. Yeah, that. Probably that. Hey, Discord admin got a chaos chariot. That's awesome. Now I can take him off of the chariot. Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! It's happening. So. Vampiric ascension. Death and decay taints the winds of magic and. As a bitter feud breaks out amongst the vampires, with every major lord of night claiming Neferata's legacy, now they can only be stopped by capturing all of the major sites of power and putting an end to their dark rituals. See to it. This man is deep in the Kool-Aid. He's sipping that shit. Is this... That's Manfred. Why does Manfred have a sword? What is happening? This is interesting. Let's uh, look at the map. Let's see uh, what this actually did. So, Castle Drakenhof... Control the following five settlements either by direct control. How strong are they? Oh, oh god. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, okay, they're gonna have some crazy shit. It's vampire time, man. At least the fact that they're, they're a vampiric attrition is gonna stop them. Holy fucking dicks, dude. Oh my god. Yo, zombie dragons out the ass. Siegfried Steinhoff. Fire... Bernard von Seckerhoff, Oswald von Karstein, Maximilian no. Bylor. That's a cool name. Damn, dude. Like seven doomstacks out the gate for them. We, and then Manfred. Oh, shit. Yeah, Manfred gets a bunch of doomstacks. Our, our armies, full armies on top of his other shit. What else we got? We got these guys. Oh, Ghost is going to be a nightmare. Oh, holy shit. Ghost is going to be a god. I He's think all not. Dude, he's already rank 8. He has the Libra Bubonicus. If he gets any of his army uh, passives, he's literally going to be invincible because his zombies can heal forever. Never. Gottfried, Reynold... Dude, we're, we're so screwed. Depending on how fast these guys expand. So we only have to do... That's probably one of the easier ones to deal with considering there are only a couple of Vampire Count factions. Look at Musalon, dude. Fuck. Musalon are about to pop off. Bretonia or look at this guy like coming over looking at Bretonia. He's about to get Oh my god, Luin is so 
fucked. <laughs> oh shit. Luna is so, so fucked. Holy shit. Rip my guy. He is so doomed. Oh my god. Let's let's have a funeral, a live funeral for my man. Well, we should check back in next turn and see if he's absolutely Festus dead beyond belief. F's in chat for Lewin. F for France for Lewin. Oh, nice. Ah, uh, what's up, man? Uh, no, fuck it. We need, um, we, I want to start going down the magic line. Regen will make us, like, just invincible. Heroic blow. Nothing like a good heroic blow. I'm going back to Chaos Steeds too. Chariots are just not that good. They limit your uh, the attack speed, attack frequency a lot. Scroll of Blast versus Trickster Shot. Uh, I do not like the Trickster Shot. When do you ever suffer from miscasts all that much? And we have regen, why does it matter? You need a boon. Uh, Forsaken, let's go. And a couple of Marauders. Can we turn them into fun Marauders? Yes. I think this is enough of an army. A couple more Goblins maybe, and then we should we should push on Norden. Uh. All right, well. Uh, we're not plagued up. Let's plague up. This is definitely the best now. Minus, we get the minus speed, we get the a negative leadership, and 25, 20% physical, and we can summon, and we get 15% souls. Oh, so much good stuff. Nurgle OP! Norblender screwed. We get the Dragon Bane Jam, 35% fire resist. Not bad. Ew, nice. And we're back, full replenishment, good stuff. Faction destroyed mid and land. There we go. We finally oh, laid so the mustache man to rest boys. permanently. So now what we got to do is wrap up the empire over here. Give these two settlements back to the uh, greenskins. And then uh, I think we're good. Maybe move up to Austin. What do you guys think? Move up to Austin to take them out or take on uh, Reichland? Destroy Reichland or destroy Ostland. You know what? Probably Reichland because we can send this guy to destroy Ostland. Can we get any more? Uh, nope. Single, single, double. Man, why does it feel like we've been getting a serious lackluster amount of experience? Seven. We're almost there. Also, the Marauder of Ostland seem to be gaining XP extremely slow. Ratio Reichland? Yeah, it's Reichland. Reichland's gonna die. And okay, Austin, go get Throt as an ally. Get Play Claw Catapults. Wield it. Fuck! Decisive defeat. Um, okay, bear with me while I try and do as much damage as possible to them. At okay, the vampire armies constantly respawn, dude. You beat like two of them and four show up. Fuck, dude. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll be good. Get his mortars. Morp his mortars. <laughs> Morp his mortars. It's more time. I looked at his mortars and I morphed all over them. Where are the mortars? Morpters. There they are. I'm a mob all over them. That's probably his like most impactful unit. So, uh, you know, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna do what I what I've been doing. This is a good tactic. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Chaos comes. We're gonna. I'm gonna fuck with the. Uh, their souls. Your man's though. So what we do is we yes. wait. We build a, a tier a lower tier tower Chaos and we marauders. hold them on a couple of Very these points well. and then build up a. I'll just see what I mean. It's gonna be a little more tricky because they have range, but I've. Held off more than this. No! Get away! Call friends! Why is he so fast? 
fuck 78 speed did Carl's um speed improve on the horse has he always been that fast fuck it fuck it I'll just leave him on skirmish mode and he can they can fuck up friends for a little bit in the meantime we'll build up some points build a tower hopefully they won't have line of sight on us with their gunners fuck yes they are definitely gonna have line of sight on us in a second get him Go, go, go! No, they're running. It's fine. What? Oh, we hit a wall, right. That's cringe. That's cringe. Get me on the open. Alright, tower. How many do we... 900. Yeah, we just need the 1400 magic tower and then we're good. Get him, get him. Our infantry better. No! I forgot about cap! Fuck! Do not cap our point, you giant wiener. Stupid Reichsguard. We have more cap weight than you. Oh! Oh! Run! Run. Skirmish mode. No. Skirmish. Dude, we've already got. We've already got uh, Franz down a half HP. And. No, they have the same amount of. Out of ammunition, whatever. Alright, we're not doing too bad. We'll probably lose the fight with those Reichsgard. That's fine, though. Because they're about to get... effed by this tower in 90 seconds. This isn't going great, but it's fine. We'll do. We just gotta wait 60 more seconds. How does he fucking catch us? God damn it, he's so much supposed to be slow. Skirmish mode is useless, dude. It's so useless. Morbed. Come on, we just gotta hold on until the tower is built. Just hold on to the tower is built. Come on, come on. One more second. All right, hit the Reich's God. Hit the Reich's God. The dark gods command me. All will be despoiled. No, no, no. Cap wait, cap wait, cap wait. Get on the point. No. Okay, we've lost. Damn it. <laughs> okay, and that's how you... <laughs> that, went so... that went so badly. Okay, they technically probably suffered more casualties than they would if I autoed it, in, in all seriousness. <laughs> that went so bad. I just realized I had a much bigger garrison when I did this last time, but I managed to uh, kill Carl Franz with three units of Skirmisher Cav. And then I, I uh, took apart the rest of their dudes and they just bombarded them and held a single point from a specific... What the fuck, man? Come on! Whatever. Fuck off. Who is this? Oh, okay. This is down near Altdorf. That's fine. Whatever. I need to come back and take over Deer to Sh Deer, Deer to though. Someone play the sad trombone. Fuck you. <laughs> Somebody play heroic sexy battle music for my tremendous accomplishment. Oh yeah, oh this is so bad actually. This is really kind of the, the worst thing ever. Dude, turns remaining 13? That's insane. So we're gonna have this summoned ability for 13 turns. That's nutty. That's actually nutty. Okay, we're gonna, we need some dogs. They're only 108. Okay, that's way more expensive than I thought it. Never mind. Uh, fuck off! Okay, I can reach him. Are they in March stance? Yes, they're in March stance. Let's go. Oh, you shouldn't have raised my territory, you fool! The brain of a mouse. Hey, hey! Okay, actually, some good stuff there. We can't really afford it, but I'm gonna recruit these. I'm gonna delete the dogs. Because these are just much higher value units. We're only 191 on the whole. And uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Weisman. God, that's so expensive. You know what? Actually, I have a better idea. I don't want to repair Weisman, but... um, Dude, please tell me that I can... Can I pull this off on the green skins? You northern humans are a bit scary. I fucking can. Give me, give me money. <laughs> nice. Now I don't have to repair it. No, it's their problem. <laughs> it's their problem now. Nice. And we get a little bit of money out of it. See, take what.
Let I may uh, be a puppet like you. 1500, that's fine. Norska. Let's see with the 700 we just got. Alright, we got Profane Weaponry. Hideous Amputation is probably the best way to go now. Uh, we do not need the upgrades for Forsaken. It'll be pretty good. Ooh, damn. Army Ability Fecundity would be massive. Okay, we got the two important ones, but I want Hideous Amputation because we're going to have mostly just like Axe Infantry. Alright, I believe in Loathsome Dung here. Let's get our last upgrade. Oh, Children of Nurgle. What is a doctor without instruments? That's what I always say, Festus. Old Festy. Damn, these guys are not double fiction. silver yet. Annoying. 13 turns, that's insane! Nurgle. That plague rod extending like the duration Nurgle. and stuff, that's awesome. The green skins are doing alright. What you want? We might not even have to, like, take some stuff. Maybe they'll take their own shit back. I don't call it. Do you think Festus is hot? Um. Yeah, he's pretty thick. I like his apron. He's got some bounce. This man has some cake. It is, it is known. Ooh, magic. Dude, what? Wait, 60 second cooldown. Affects all allies in range, passive ability, magical attacks for an infinite duration? What? That's better than the Crown of Command. That's interesting. Magical attacks for every... Th oh, it gives him magical attacks. And then... Physical resistance, damage of non-magical attacks reduced by the amount up to... Yeah, so it gives magical attacks to everything in a 55 meter radius infinitely. Why does it say it's got a 60 second cooldown? If it's got an infinite duration. I don't understand. Affects allies in range. All. Why do they have to program shit like this? It's just misleading. Am I the only one who just had a fucking brain fart trying to read that? To the um. Hmm. Let us corrupt. Harrison Lord, not move, get rid of that. All right, we can probably Are win this fight and be back. Let's see. Absolutely not. Get out of my territory, loser. Oh, medium casualties. That's a pretty sound victory. Okay, you know what? We don't actually have that much good shit. Never mind. Uh, oh, I don't know. Okay, I'd be, I'm too worried that we're going to take too many casualties you to uh, be able to defend Sol's. Especially if they attack us at the same time. That could get rough. Consent. The buff might last 60 seconds in the u if uh, if the unit leaves the effective radius. Maybe I think it reprocs every 60 seconds. Yeah, makes sense to me. God, get your big brain out of here, dude. With your understanding and stuff. I shall kill you, then revive you. Then... Oh. <laughs> Why did it cut off? That really undercut the serious nature of what he was talking about. I'll kill you and revive you and... <laughs> That's it? Okay, war declared, I guess. War, war were declared. Oh no, okay, there it is. Surely that's a win. <laughs> a close victory with low casualties, get fucked. Why would you attack me then? Get fucked, pal friends. And now we get... Wait, what? Unit experience gained 10% for defeating Call of Friends. Hold on, that's been changed. That's different. Call of Friends' defeat trait used to be, uh... Um, you cause... that Your general causes fear when fighting any, uh, the Empire. Right? That's new. 10% experience gain for the Lord's army, that's definitely new. That's been changed. That's way better. 100% that was different before. That's a really nice change. That's awesome. Okay, so a little bit of metal peppered in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We get, yes, here we go. Okay, so we can devote to Nurgle for death or devote to Nurgle for Nurgle and we will lose the lore of metal, which is fine. So let's devote to Nurgle. And here, we, here he is, Khan Balefire. Okay, we're gonna change his name to, um, Fuck, I forgot half the names that got suggested now. What was one of them? 
I'll call him Plague Daddy for now. Damn, no horse, but get some spells in the mix. And oh, 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 Forsaken. Nice. Okay, we're in the pocket a little bit financially. So I'm going to combine one of these. Free Hondo. Free Hondo. That's fine. We got 9,000. We're good. We're good. We'll earn money the old fashioned way by raiding. Okay, replenish. Oh, fuck, what do we do with uh, Festus now? Uh, let's beeline for your shopping. Make our way down the coast. Take back these settlements. Up into the Empire. Oh shit, okay, we gotta Never. be careful around here. I'm pretty sure her gig will be able to defend itself because this is an, a surprisingly strong garrison, even if Oslin are probing us a little bit. Money. We're Gucci, we're good. We're good. Billy Shotman. Oh, Lord Fart Quad. Yes, Lord Fart Quad is so good. <laughs> Lord Fart Quad. Yes, that's the that's one of the best ones that's been suggested. Good, 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 uh, good shout. I'll rename him that at the end of this turn. Hey, you know, you know what the emperor, the uh, the empire on the ropes, when they're fleeing into the ocean to get away from uh, down to the coast to get away from greenskins. That's a good sign. Physician of blight. God damn it. Why does it select the whole thing? Lord Fartquad. Rot weaver. A powerful entity, I, I would say. I get No! Fuck! Wrong guy, wrong guy, fuck. False alarm. Please tell me I can reach that, dude. Adokoi, Paul McShotney. <laughs> Paul McShotney. That's not bad, that's not bad. Good stuff. We're gonna hold on to this one, though. They're taking attrition, and that's what I like to see. Uh. Yeah, Moonmaker. Ah, uh, oh, damn. I keep. <laughs> I keep getting dick teased and thinking I can get some chosen. Come on, man. One rank away. One rank away from chosen. Just one. We need some actual impactful battles where we get a lot of kills. Definitely plague duration. Decay. All right, I'm on me. Oh, yeah. can we win that? We have better shit now. I'm pretty sure we can win that. All right, whatever. Let's set up an ambush. Good shit. Any more diplomacy? No, 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 no. All right, all right. Adokoi, Tesco's or Sainsbury's? <laughs> Asda. <laughs> Walmart. Um, I don't know. They're all the fucking same, right? Wait, what would be the... What's that fucking crazy uh, Mox and Spencer's, dude? Because all their shit's really goddamn expensive and stupid. That is such a boomer-ass store for rich people. Fuck that place. <laughs> no, wait. You know what? I... Little. Literal or Aldi. That's the poor man's shopping store. You can get it like, you can go into Little and come out with six jaws of wasps and a can of like German beer. Or, and it'll cost you like six pennies. Plus victory, medium casualties. I'm just gonna auto that. That's a fucking solid win right there. Our replenishment is probably gonna be pretty high. No! Oh, it's a fair victory. Okay. What I tell you, what I tell you, Nurgle are so OP. Lord Fartquad, dude, 15% physical resistance, nice. And a Chaos Steed. Ambush foiled, and they still got fucked up. Did you say Araldi? No, Aldi. Aldi or Little, they're both German supermarkets uh, that have like a really efficient way of doing their shit. And they, like everything they sell, they sell from, like, Europe, and it's all really, really goddamn cheap. Like, super, super cheap. They have, um, Aldi's in, and Little's in, in, uh... Or, like, they have Aldi in 
in the U.S. now, right? I'm pretty sure they do. It's like one of the fastest growing shopping places like ever. They're everywhere. You have a corruption. Dude, we're getting st stacked. Disabilities. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong guy. Fuck. I was leveling this guy up thinking he was... Alright, um... I'll spread this guy a little wide. I'll oh, spread him open and then spread him wide. We take Norton. Let's go. Let's go. A true god. Strider. This guy, dude, rank 7. I love how fast you level up in Immortal Empires. It's just so much better than Warhammer 2. I don't Name the next lord slash hero what? ass bomber bin shidden. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. God damn it, Gandalf. <laughs> ass bomber bin shitten. God damn. That's a stretch. <laughs> That's such a stupid name, fuck. Oh, I thought that said Demogorgon. Anything cool? Now, it looks like you're, like, either you're the distance from... Ooh. No, they'll still lose that fight. Thank you for the dono, by the way. That's a ter terribly bad name. <laughs> I don't call you still in the UK. Yes, yes I am. I'd love to move to a different country, though. The food in the US is just so much better than the UK. I, uh, I'd want to move there just for that. Like, you have no idea how insane your guys' access to food is. Like, it's... The UK sucks. If you, if you like... Like, at least where I live or where I have lived, like, there, your options for, like, resources to make good food are so limited. And some of the stuff you guys can get there is just... It, it's so much better than the UK, dude. It's not even close. Yeah, man, so much food here. Yeah, yeah. People legitimately here will eat beans on toast and think that's like a full meal. Hey, dude, Throt the Unclean, my absolute homie for Festus. Can you imagine a better, like, name a more iconic duo. Throt the Unclean, Festus the Leech Lord. Both disgusting, both fat, both green. They both like doing experiments with chemicals and stuff. We're gonna we're gonna hold me up with Throt for sure. Throt the thought. It's homey time. It's homey time out here. Texas food, dude. Yes, right. I want to go to the U.S. and try Texas barbecue so bad. I want to go to Los Angeles and have uh, try In and Out. There's so much I want to do, like food wise, in that country. I want to go try a crab boil from like Louisiana. Ah, oh, dude. Oh my God, it's so much. The, the variations of in food that you guys have, state by state, is so impressive too. Like, you go one state over, and they're like, yeah, we just cook entire pigs here. And that's just what we do. And it's so cheap! What the fuck? It's anything good in the UK is so expensive. Infection costs... Wait, what? Recruitment army costs minus 100%? A request army costs, right? The gift of choice... Uh, gifts of chaos activation costs minus 75%. Character experience gain... Dude, what? Character experience gain 100%? That... How's that even a contest? That's insane. Hey, Throg, dude! All I the love to see an update today. slash DLC you where the Nurgle Lords could drive the frogs. The, the, yes! Fuck, alright, he doesn't want to trade. That's fine. Alright, on aggression back. I would so be down for a Throg revoice, though. I eat my enemies isn't exactly a good like voice line for a guy that's supposed to be a very intelligent troll. You know? He should he should be like, I saute my enemies. Oh, <laughs> I slow cook my enemies. And eat it with as part of a healthy balanced breakfast. Beans mean more fat, which I approve. <laughs> the true the true Nurgle diet is just beans on toast, dude. British people have a true Nurgle diet for sure. Hey, dragon ogres. Alright, I'ma scrap I'ma scrap some of these um Yeah, we're gonna scrap some Chaos Trolls to get some Dragon Ogres, because Dragon Ogres are fucking cool. 
All right, what's the move? What's the move? Oh shit, dude, it's getting late out here. I don't want to go too far, but mm, I also do. I'm waiting for Aaron Grad to declare war on us because they, yeah, oh my god, they hate us so much. They hate us, dude. I, uh, I do want to kill Oslin though. Fuck it. Let's go fight Oslin. Kill Oslin. At the very least, I, how many territories did Oslin own? Because we can wipe them out right here. That would be huge. Yeah, one settlement. All right, yeah, we got to kill Oslin. Get him out of there. Wipe him out. What? Ready for bossing? Ready for bossing. Dude, I'd love to do a greenskin campaign. I miss the greenskins. They're such a fun faction. Oh, the possibilities of a model empires are endless. I missed some donos. Sorry, let me go back up. Um, I would love to see an update slash DLC where the Noga Lords could ride the frogs. Dude, I think there's a distinct lack of mounts for um, Lords across the entire game. So, like, Ogre um, Tyrants should be able to ride Stonehorns, and also they should get a, a Rhinox mount, right? That's, that's like, a no-brainer. Um, I think that... Uh, more Kislev Lords should be able to get a, a um, like a reindeer mount because that's something that's in their lore. Being able to get like reindeer mounts that would be more interesting than horses too. Um, there's a good there's a good number of factions that that should get mounts that don't need to be lore, like foot lords. I would love to get a tyrant riding a stonehorn or a thunder tusk. Oh my god! Or um, at the very least, riding a rhinox. Man, how cool would that be? It would also make, I mean, it would, it would make Tyrants even more of a better lore choice over picking Greasus, but, you know. Nobody's going to be picking him anyway. That man is too slow for his own good. Uh, and then, name a hero, Dildo Swaggins. <laughs> what? Close square brackets, open square brackets. Open square brackets, close square brackets. Squid, what is that dono, dude? Not nine dollars and si nine pounds and sixty-nine pence. Okay, I see what Unworkable. you're doing. You absurd man! Thank you for the dono, though. <laughs> oh, Nurgle's taint. This fucking cough. Okay, Festus is not actually that far along in his uh his spell line as much as I would want him to be. Hey, hey! Yes, more Chaos Warriors. Here we go. And? No, uh, fuck! We're one away. Oh, dude. Oh, I can get some Chaos Knights, though. Okay, I might do that. What do you guys think? Switch to Chaos Knights with Lances and then turn them into Nurgle Chaos Knights with Lances? Or wait an extra turn and get some Chosen? Bear in mind, we're going to be able to get seven units of Chosen eventually. Like, if, you know, if the, the campaign continues. I'm pretty sure in the short term, it's probably going to be a better idea if I just get some Chaos Knights with Lances and then turn them into Nurgle Chaos Knights with Lances. It just seems like a better deal. Wait, what? Oh, I thought I could turn Dragon Ogres into Chaos Nurgle Knights there. Chosen. Nah, dude. I, uh, knight, I think Knights next are better. But look at all the uh, Chaos Warriors that we're going to be able to turn into Chosen, right? We just need to get a bit more experience. So I'm going to burn through some turns here. Because I'm going to have to, like, leave in a bit. Oh, okay, right. Well, I'm going to give on it back to our uh, our black pit allies. What do you want? Some money. 300? How in the, in the, in the red are you guys? Fuck. Dude, we have so... Look, they fucking love us. 107 for gifts given to the Black Pit tribe. Damn. So good. How, how are we with uh, eight more turns? We're plagued up. We're dummy plagued up. Good stuff. We gotta get into some more battles. And Okoy, you're gonna go bankrupt, bro. Wait, shit, am I? Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... <laughs> look at your bank account, bro. Uh, and okay, you're about to be broke. We'll be fine. It's, it's all good. We'll make some money. All I have to do is fight a battle or two and we're fine. Homie broke. We're fine. We're not fine. This is very bad. No, never mind. We're fine. They're, they're dead. We're all good. It's not even close. Dude, oh my god. The fucking auto weight that the Nurgle armies carry. That wasn't even close. 
Ceremonious unhealth. I'm actually gonna go for money because we kind of need money. Wog fails. Wait, who's Wog failed? He doesn't even tell you. Oh shit! It's probably the uh, the green students that are around here. Where are you going? Hey, okay, we got uh, Nilf Godlings nearby. Get fucked! What? Why is my movement speed so low? What the shit, man? Ooh, damn. Emperor. Okay, this is annoying. The fact that AI can go into raiding stance and it completely um, uh, removes attrition. What is the point in having attrition if somebody can sit in your territory and raid you indefinitely and take no attrition? They need to remove that. Seriously, that sucks ass. It makes chaos attrition feel so worthless. Valiant defeat. Fuck! Okay, I thought we were in the clear there. This is not great. I tell you what, we'll siege him, maybe recruit some extra units. See, we're 10,000 up now. All it took was like a single battle and we're back in the blue. Back in the green, sorry. We did get four levels up though, so we can get some, all right, uh, double upgrade, stream of corruption, and the majority of our units are just basic infantry. So, Chaos Vanguard. Uh, melee attack for all non-demonic infantry units. Wait, do we got anything else extra? Oh, oh yeah, Corrupted Mage, dude. Yeah, Vile Enchanter and Corrupted Mage. Plus five for Forsaken, Chaos Spawn, Feral Manticores. Perfect uh, Vigor for Forsaken. Great pain. And... Wait. Ah, oh, what? We need this. I was gonna upgrade a bunch Such of them to <laughs> Forsaken. Advanced. We need to research it. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So we'll just sack them for a little bit. This is worrying me. Never. Fucking call friends. Broke, homie broke. I am it's so in the money now, though. I don't care. Since you live in the UK, how does Festus compare to Scottish people IRL? Uh, he's a little skinnier. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I, <laughs> no, he. They're very different. The accents are pretty close, though. You do be sound in Scottish. I think the main difference is um, Festus has a healthier diet. <laughs> Okoy cancelled by entire country of Scotland. Uh, no! No! Are you fucking kidding me? Why doesn't he like me? Oh god. Bellacor of all people? Fuck. Country lol? Scotland is a country. What did you think? Scotland was like a fucking subsidiary? They're a country. They're part of the UK, which is a, uh, you know, like a... I can't remember what it's called. I don't think it's a continent. It's called something else. It's definitely not a continent. I don't know what it's called. What the UK is. Like a collective? I can't remember the exact term for it. Get fucked. Somebody will, will uh, pop it out and chant it out. UK is a sovereign state. There you go. Scotland forever. I was kind of disappointed that Scotland didn't like secede from the UK. It could have been their own whole thing. But then they uh, decided they wanted to be in the UK, which is pretty nutty. Come on, dude, stop tickling my balls with this shit. Give me some fucking chosen. What's the move here? Maybe get rid of another Chaos Trolls to get those... Uh, yeah, I want, I want, I want that renowned unit. Summoners of Rage. So we get Dragon Ogre, Summoners of Rage. The speed, speed. Oh, oh, we need to do Festus's uh, quest battle too. Let's do that. That could be one of the last battles that we do. No, we need magic. Stream of corruption. Fuck, man. Look yeah, let's dig into uh, Festus's quest battle. It's it's gonna be fucking difficult. It's very difficult, but it's maybe doable. Maybe probably gonna take some fat casualties. Actually, you know what? I might. We'll do it after one turn of attrition. Oh my god, where are you going, Carl? He's going for Karaburg. Where is Karaburg? Oh, it's all the way down here. Maybe not. Where is he going? 
I know he's not attacking Middenheim. These, both of these provinces have uh, garrisons. Brass Keep has a pretty uh, spicy garrison. So where is he going? He's just taking more attrition. Not likely. What's your plan, big man? Who is? Yeah, let's go. Let's fucking go. Are they dead? Faction destroyed Ostland. Man, Lord Fartquad is popping off. This man is an absolute monster. Uh, Scroll of Leeching. Um, definitely for ya yeah boy. What does that do? Recharge rate, power recharge rate, minus 40% range, 100 meters. So you just leech power recharge from the enemy faction? That's not terrible. Full of shield. Use uh, Filthy Mace. Oh my god. <laughs> I've never seen such a festacy weapon. His, his mace was filthy. Enables magical attacks. That's not particularly good. He levels up. Violent Chancer. So good for Forsaken. Perfect Vigor. Wait, all non-demonic infantry. Are uh, Forsaken uh, demonic? Yep. They are not. That's actually good then. There we go. Better Marauders. Better Marriage. How many turns until we get that research thing? Four oh, turns. God. I'm starting to miss Village's uh, research rate buffs because we were halfway through the research tree 30 turns in. We were we were popping off. Good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Let's go. Hoopstick, Boris is back. At Okoy, man. Man City or United. Uh, I do not like football. I'm not a football guy. Fuck! Come on, Kislev. Maybe don't do any of that shit, please. I would just really appreciate it if he fucked off. Dude, oh my god. Okay, the vampire counts are going to be a real problem, I think. That's going to be rough. Number one Discord admins. Lol. <laughs> We're, uh, our whole faction, dude, is called the Discord admins, so... All right, time for a quest battle. How are we doing up here? Yeah, we're good. Dude, this is probably the best I've ever done with Nurgle. I might continue this campaign on my own time. Uh, if I don't continue it on livestream. I might put it up to a vote if you guys want to see me continue the village livestream. This or uh, do a, a, an Azazel livestream to show him off. But, uh, you know, there's there's other YouTubers that have done an Azazel. No! No! <laughs> Belkor, please! Please! Fuck! No! Oh god. Okay, and also we're in the black. We're we're fucked up with our money now. This is real bad. This is so bad. All right. Well, I'm gonna get rid of these guys and uh, uh, combine some of the guys. We're 800. We're so no. This is so bad, dude. Bellacro is gonna f our fucking a so hard. Look, you can already- I can only see two of his units. He's rank 15 and he has his fucking Blade of Shadow. Eat shit, dude. Fuck. Okay, what will it take? Natural authority. What will it take, Bel Belacor? Huh? Why don't you go back and voice the fucking Hobbit, dude? For I am death and shadow. Shut up! All I can promise you is fear. Fuck! Oh god, that sucks. That's that's like such a huge oh, we're, we're so bad with money, dude. Okay. This is bad. This is real bad, but let's do the quest battle and pretend that, that didn't just happen. So we get pestle and potions, which will give us ten physical resistance to some basic stuff, casualty to replenishment rate, and a pretty huge debuff that spreads along uh, units in an area. This is a little bit of an under underwhelming ability. In all in all honesty, it's not actually that good. Um, but it's still a fun battle, so fuck it. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, so a Gorgon, two Jabber Slithes, a s two Saigors, and a reinforcing army. This is all it is, but fuck me if that isn't a difficult army. And we get no reinforcements. Are you guys ready for some, some fat rhymes?
Festus is about to lay down some absolute tracks. This man is about to spit straight fire. Let's see what I mean. <laughs> yeah. I don't call it. Festus' potions are stronger uh, for you, traveler. <laughs> Potion seller. Potion Festus. I need your strongest. I'm going into battle. That's such a good video, dude. All right, here we go. Milady, I come to his realm for a good harvest, but night so close to being this marvelous. Ten CC of Javos life bird. Next, when the sun grows a bit to the obscure, mix for altars, cankles, and the tools. Steal yourself. Servants of blight. I don't know why this is so thematic. My, my man rhymes for days. Okay, get to the trees. Get to the trees. Fuck these cygars. Go, 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 go. Move it. Go, go, go. To the trees. All right, just get Festy with the... No, wrong thing. Regen. Melee, crunken squad. Get out to the three. Infantry to... Range, cavalry, put them in a, a thing together, and then we'll... Okay, giants in with the infantry. And then all of our skirmish guys in another uh, another thing. But we need to get to the trees. Oh, I don't want my infantry to get caught out in the open, because... Fear not, young Nurglite. Nurgle will oh. ensure your rebirth. JK yeah, Blakor is going to funk your Nurgussie. <laughs> Nurgussie? <laughs> don't... <laughs> Don't talk about my Nergussi. Oh, oh, okay. Wait, I have to show you Nurgle, Nurgle, um, Chaos. Guys with lances look so cool. They have such cool, like, fucking sickle lances and glaives and halberds and shit. The skulls on their shields. Very fucking cool. Very cool. Very poggers. Oh! Don't body slam my shit. Fuck. All right, get in there. Okay, so get these guys on the wings. Get our. All right, we're gonna run the cavalry around the outsides, but we need to focus on this little column in the middle right now. Lots of Nurgle. Billious brothers. Good stuff. God, they look fucking jacked. Oh, we're getting fucked, kinda. Oh, God. Come on. What are we getting fucked up by? Fuck. Okay. No. Oh, that's what. Don't get into melee. God, they're really fucking up our infantry a little bit here, huh? I guess get all these side doors. That'll be huge. Billy's thunder guff. Let me pop out a couple for us. Where is he? All right, get the get the get the guy. Okay, one of the uh, one of the Jabba slices is getting fucked up. Let's take out that side Infantry on infantry. That's fine. Slow this guy down. Get on him. I don't know if they're going to be able to beat out the... Uh, you know what? No. These guys are active. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, the trolls can fight the uh, Psychros too then, because I've accidentally sent all of my guys to the other side of the fucking map. Dude, our hero, the regen on our heroes is just insane. We're barely even taking any damage. Power wins a magic recharge rate. Uh, I mean, it would have to be on that guy over there. He's the only thing with magic. Oh, fuck. There it is. God damn it. I see. I knew it would come back. Alright, Marauders and Nurgle, get in there. This is a nutty fight. Oh no! 
Lead us to mortals! On putrefying foot! Alright. He's duking it out. We got it. We got Bilius in the pocket. We got anybody on these guys here. Sawbones provides this man. Get some dragon ogres on them. Our trolls are over here in the pocket fighting. Cyber, the they're doing all right. Our, oh shit! Okay, I can't believe getting a little bit mulched here. We are the foul. Make them wither. On the younger spearmen, we're doing all right. This is going pretty good. I've taken worse casualties with it. I'm more casualties with worse armies. No joke. The sheep, Marauders of Nagal. Attack in the there. mortals. All right, that's got to be army losses soon. They're getting just borked. Into possession. Bloodthirsty. Lots of Nagal. Okay, these guys got a little roughed up. How we doing? Oh, 68 kills, 600 value. Not terrible. Honestly, pestilent marauders, plague and pestilence, they will succumb. Deliver slaughter. God, Nurgle Stop shit is exceedingly Christ slow. Christ. I will say. All right, they're shattered. They're shattered. Right. Get your man's down. Salted hero. Alright, now we just gotta beat the brakes off these fools. Of if this doesn't automatically just instantly end too, we'll be able to regen at the end of this battle, but I have a feeling that it'll just abruptly end. God, Uncle Raiders are hanging on. Don't just end. Come on. God, Festus is so slow. That's gotta be it, right? Is he unbreakable? Why are we not? He's shattered. What's what's going on? They have chaos spawn? Why are they unbreakable? Lots of Nurgle. Pestilence comes. What? How come we haven't won? Oh, yeah, they have chaos spawn. Oh, that's perfect. Wait. I can I can just abuse this to regen. Don't kill the chaos spawn. Leave him alive. Ready to defile for the fly lord. Don't kill him. Leave him alone. <laughs> this should not work, but it does. No. It does. Giants back at full health. Yeah, our infantry aren't gonna regen. But where'd that chaos spawn go? Wait, why are we one now? Oh no, please don't say it's like, oh, there we go. God damn it, it's every time I'm like, oh, what's happening? Easy clap. Got Okoy, that Nergussi making me accent a little Nergussi. Shut up. <laughs> Man, it's the, the don't, thank you for the dono, by the way. It, the, uh, it's been especially scuffed today with the uh, with the donuts of the comments. Very Nurgle esque though, I love it. Okay. Not a bad fight. Definitely probably the easiest, kind of, but it's just because the, the picks that they've got for the, like, I, maybe just Snurgle are so goddamn strong. I don't think I've ever struggled with that fight in particular. Festus, the Leech Lord. Well, now what it, ooh. It's too good not to use, right? All right, let's check on the Vampire counts. And then I'm gonna end stream. It's uh, I, I have uh, some prior commitments.
But I do. I want to see how the much con uh, territory the vampire counts have conquered since uh, this event popped off. Okay, so. Oh my! F oh, okay. I I thought this was all fucking uh, Vlad territory. Oh my god, they've already started moving out. Holy shit! Okay, so in maybe the three or four turns, they already own all of this. Yeah, Manfred is moving out. Oh, Jesus Christ. The, the vampire corruption is insane, too. It's like 99 on every single region that they've moved out to take. Holy shit. And then who else is there? Gorst? Oh my god, Gorst! Holy shit! He owns like the major- like half of the fucking Ogre Kingdom's territory. He's moving down into the- Oh my god. Jesus. This is gonna be so bad. They're even stronger than the dwarves were, and they have to, and they actually have to worry about uh, vampiric corruption to to maintain their provinces. Holy shit! Damn. At Okoy, end of stream. Chungus check. All right, let's check on Chungus. Let's see if he's still going. Wait, where is he? No, has he been killed? No, no, they've been killed. They're not there anymore. The ogres are gone. Chungus. Chungus has been eliminated. He's usually here over in Port Reaver, but he's gone. Chungus has been eliminated prior to turn 31. I don't know what happened to him. F's in chat for Chungus. F's for Chungus, boys. I'm actually, I'm legitimately sad that he's gone. That sucks. Uh, oh, wait, shit. I didn't even think about it, but yeah. Moose, oh my God, dude. Musalon and, uh, and Kemler being right here. Yeah, Musalon already own all of this territory. Yo, that's going to be a problem for us. This is going to be a problem for us. For, for, for sure. This is probably the campaign that I've been having the most fun with so far. Like I said, I do... I am a huge Nurgle simp for this man. This man with the... The mess. He's got so much experience from that too. Not a whole lot of unit XP though, which is disappointing. But uh Fuck it's seven, not six. Alright, whatever. Anyway. The views today have been insane, guys. I I had a ton of fun with the stream. I hope you guys did. Bellacor is about to butter our ass and just dive right in. So I guess we're gonna have to go north and deal with that, maybe after we've traded off for the Empire. I'll probably send Um Lord Farquaad down to take out the Empire while we go and wrestle with Bellicor because I don't think Bellicor is going to be an easy challenge. This man is a literal god. So, but that's for next time. If I, I'll put up a, a vote to continue like either this stream or one of the other ones or do an Azazel stream or something. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Thanks for the donos and the support as usual. More videos on the way. I'll probably do 19 uh, aspiring champions next because I'm super curious to see what kind of buffs they can get. Um... But yeah, I'm just, again hype for you guys to get access to this game. Uh, these these stream, these recent streams have been an absolute blast, and I hope you guys enjoyed them as well. But yeah, I'll see you on the next stream. Uh, some boat will be up. Oh yeah, also we'll drop into somebody else's stream. See if uh, Turn's still streaming or some shit. He's always a good one to drop off on. Let's see who's uh, who's streaming. Legend streaming. Oh, there you go. Hold on, Mercy the Mad. Mercy's a really nice guy. Uh, he streams this game all the time. He has uh, early access, so he's a good guy to drop in on. Um, again, super nice guy. He's he's doing a uh, uh, an Althorian an Althorian versus Tyrion civil war immortal empires campaign. So if you want to see how the elves are holding up, go check him out. Give him an uh, ogre's my lord for me, and 